my gosh! Did you hear that? It seemed like everybody watched the House of Consciousness. Of God, I'm tuning in, hearing these states to every concert. Oh, wow. You got your holy book, your references and documents, then hit your brother's side and get it cracking if you're confident. Sign at the TV, it don't get no more reality. Nah. Get up and stay mindful of the struggle in totality. Humble yourself and let the commentary resonate. Living in these times is here, but sure to help you yeah, elevate. in a new song. Hope the dialogue ain't too strong. Y'all know that we've been waiting too long. And ever since I stepped into this paradigm, at the time all I got is built. I know the TV is a black throne. But kings and queens come get their facts on. Just be prepared to have your mind blown. And ever since I stepped into this paradigm, most of the time all I got is freedom on my mind. For real. For real. Peace and Black Power family. Welcome to another sign of the TV House of Consciousness production. If you want to know what kind of Yankee joint I got on, man, you already know it's a it's a classic. It's Rivera. You already know I got to throw in the legend. It's Rivera. Okay? It's Rivera. So, yeah, man. Um, this was a great, great discussion that Brother Jabari had with um, the Sister Sanjur. And um, a lot of people think that this thing is easy when you're sitting amongst a scholar, a historian, a legend, a true historian that don't just get on YouTube just to see his face. That don't just get on YouTube just to be talking. This brother is a researcher, a traveler. And he travels the world on fact-finding missions. This is what he do because he's obligated to bring back the information for you. Understand that. All of this is done for the hearts and minds of his people, of our people. So basically, me and his gold is damn near the same when it comes to that. We do this for the people, you know? And so, um, hey, <laughs> I'm going to give credit where credit is due. So we have a young sister, a young lady, who um, comes in and, and sits with Jabari. Now, to keep it a buck, she didn't know that Jabari was going to be there, but she should have known because um, it's Jabari's house. Check. But anyway, I was hoping that she could be here and be present because she wanted to be here I didn't want Brother Jabari to come in without having her here to check this out. But I'm going to tell y'all, she's a young lady. I want y'all to be easy. Don't run them away. Don't run the people away from the platform. Be easy on the sister, all right? Because at least she got enough heart and courage to be there, to even talk with Jabari. So we don't want to be too mean-spirited and run the sister away to make her say, I ain't going over there no more. Ain't nothing but haters over there. We don't want that. So family, let's show a little bit of courtesy for our young people that comes on and, and do their thing. Because who knows? She might change her mind next year after watching this and listening and studying. And she might say, damn, you know? So let's give her the benefit of the doubt. So before we go on with the video that I'm going to show you, understand, Brother Sarnetta, Cash App works. I just tried it out before I went live. I checked it. I threw $10 in there. I had somebody throw me $10. It's working. It's up and running. Because I thought it was down because I didn't get nothing the past two days from my people. 
even though I work for the family, I didn't get a dime from my people. I don't understand. I just don't understand what's going on. What's really going on? What's really good with this? You know? <laughs> so with any further ado, I bring to you my brother, your brother, Jabari, and my sister and your sister, Sanjo. Let's get this build in right quick, y'all. But before we do, hold on. Do we have any calls? Anybody would like to call in? Brother Jabari, if you're out there, if you're listening, would you like to call in and say a couple of words, brother? Anybody? Or ask any questions? If not, we're going to go full steam ahead and get down with this video. Okay, so we're going to play the video. Let's get it. A lot of the black Americans do have Scottish names. But Queen, that doesn't mean that they were Scottish, French, and Dutch. Well, it? it usually means that they were owned by the Scottish, French, and Why Dutch. do you always paint? I was raised by Indians. Okay. If you saw my grandmother, you would say, that's an Indian. You would not say that's an African. You know what? I'm not questioning you. I'm not questioning that. New York, let me tell you about the Hawkins family. New Did you York hear me City. question her about oh, her mother? Hold on, let me tell you about the Hawkins. <laughs> what makes them along the way? Africans, Jamaicans, uh, um, like I said, Europeans. We got, I've got family members who marry white people. That's, that's oh. wonderful, but I'm not, I'm still not getting an answer. Well, you want an answer too. I'm still not getting an answer. Because you're I'm, not understanding and, and I'm trying, how and I, African and sit. Folks, can I say this? Can I say this? You, you gotta actually put If you come to Sonnetter TV Studios, you know that if you say something, even when I say something, people are going to ask you to support it. Part of the reason why we don't want to be African is because those enslavers removed our names. Those enslavers told us that Africa contributed nothing to the world. Those enslavers told us that Africans were less than human. Narrative about also on American Indians that we we were killed up by smallpox. We lived in teepees. We never had anything. We didn't. We had third and fourth grade educations all the way to the 1900s. But do you believe that the indigenous people look like me? There are some that do. Yes. A lot of us Northeastern people look like. Yes, there are some that do. Peace and Black Power family, welcome to another Sarnetta TV House of Consciousness production. We are here with the lovely Miss Sanjo in the building and family. This is gonna be a real special treat for y'all. We are here with a, not a native, but a- An American Indian, misclassified. Oh man, say that one more time. So they, try to talk up so they can pick you up too. Sure, sure. Yes. I come from American Indians that were misclassified in uh, American history. Now, you know, through your attire, the way I'm looking at you right now, you can, you look like a Native American Indian. <laughs> she got the, she got the uh, feather in her hair, her eyes. I mean, wow, you can see it right there, brother. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, my name is Shenjor. Um, I teach along with my partner, Top Cats. We do a lot of American Indian history. We also like to uh, help people with finding their story here in the, uh, in the Americas, whether it's North Central or South America or the Caribbean. Um, I'm also a business owner. Um, I, I own a um, holistic uh, biz business that deals with uh, helping out people with any kind of health issues. And I'm a mother and I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, so um, that's what I do for my people. And that's my that's my journey and that's my mission. Beautiful. So, sister, I have a few questions here that I would like to ask you. Yes. Um, hopefully, you could bring some clarity of of you know yeah. of this whole situation here, why you believe that you are who you are. Okay. And the first question I have for you is, um, what is the importance of genealogy? Well, genealogy is important because um, I know there's a lot of people that want to push um, 
DNA testing. I understand the science that people are, you know, believing in, and it has to be believed in. But for genealogy, what you want to do is you want to trace yourself, and you want to call your ancestors' names. I have been lucky enough, and I know many other Black Americans have been lucky enough to be able to trace their family through history. I've know people who have found land patents, they have found deeds, they have found war records, all types of things. I know for my great grandmother, who is an American Indian, misclassified, and rest her soul because she just passed away at 98. Um, she was a, a veteran's wife. So finding out those benefits that you may come from veterans in this time period, you're not gonna find that through DNA. You can find that through records. You can know where their graves are. You can pay respects to them. You know, you don't, you're not dealing with mysteries, the gray area. So with genealogy, you do wanna make sure that you are connecting it, like I know that a lot of people who build altars, shrines, and all these different things. That's really beautiful. But you got to know who you're calling on. You know, and some people have been fortunate to find pictures of their ancestors, find the stories of them, letters. If there were slaves, you can find the slave records, the slave census. It's, it's, I think it's a beautiful spiritual journey. It's very emotional. And I wouldn't tell anyone to disturb from it by taking another easy way out. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So let me ask you, um, what do you assume? What do you think that is better, DNA testing or genealogy? Well, like Cause I said, I've, I've been, I've been listening to a lot of the scholars, a lot of the yeah. teachers, and we tend to move towards DNA testing. Right. Yeah. Is one of the ways that you could really find out who you are, who are your ancestors, where you come from. Right. So I'm gonna ask you again: What do you think is more important for us? genealogy or DNA testing? Well, I think that for the black American, we're in a very sensitive part of history where we have a lot of people telling us who we are, what we are, and where we're from. To drown out the lies, I'm, you know I'm gonna say genealogy, right? Because I can tell you my fourth great grandmother. My DNA test is not gonna say my great grandmother's name. You know, it can maybe find a cousin, if that's, like I said, if that's the science you believe in. For me, once again, and for a lot of people who have found success in this, you have to know how to tell your story. I can't tell Jabari's story. I can't tell Sanetta's story. And Sanetta, I have heard that you do have uh, Caribbean ancestry as well, similar to myself. But we have to be able to be honest about what our journey is. If Jabari's honest about his journey, I'm honest about my journey, we can tell the American history story, period. We've gone through colonization and we're still going through colonization. Let's let's not act like this thing is over with. <laughs> okay. We're still we're still going through something. So um, like I said, for me, once again, genealogy is always gonna be the key. Whether you're called a Negro, African American, whether you're called mulatto or colored. At the end of the day, those people have origins. If they were or originated from Africa, get their names, know their names. If they originate from America or Europe, know their names. Let's not just know the geogra geographical locations, all right? People travel. We were not just people that stayed in one area. We traveled. But know who your people are. One of the things that I notice about those who call themselves Indians, mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelites, mm -hmm. Moors, etc., mm -hmm. those who are of the Abrahamic faith and stuff like that, don't want to deal with DNA. Why do you think that is? Like, do you think it's some type of fear that they're going to be told that they are not who they assume that they were? Yeah. yeah. I think um, that that's a valid concern. Mm -hmm. I do believe that's a part of it. I think all a part of it is our people never really trusted the medical system, period. So then to sing your spit off, your DNA off, to want to tell you some ethnicity percentages, I don't think that a lot of people are satisfied in that side of it and I think the other side of it is that people just genuinely want to connect with real people they want to be able to see my migration pattern where did my people come from can I trace that back can I know who these people are are they still here today and they're right here on this continent you know so that's that's my story but like I said it could be it's a little bit of everything but at the end of the day you are who you are and, we, and people should respect that we call ourselves African-American how do you suppose we became African American? How did we become African American? Well, it's a lot of theories on that as well. Um, I believe that the African terminology is um, 
unfortunately it's used sometimes in a, a negative uh, way throughout history um, and it's not saying that those are negative people it's just that even calling the continent Africa I mean who called the continent Africa you know that was not the indigenous name of those people on that particular landmass so um, I do believe that there's something a little more sinister behind that and then to bring it over to our continent so you come across the Atlantic Ocean to our continent and you label all dark-skinned people African-American I, I I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's valid, you know. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that it's washing out the stories of the indigenous people that are dark skinned. I do believe there's something sinister about wanting to take their land by convincing them that they're from somewhere else. Um, and for anyone that's not honest about what we're dealing with, how we're still in colonization, and how there's people like um, I'm very close friends with a lot of Guarnifana people from Honduras, and how they're dark skinned indigenous peoples as well. And guess what? They're also being pushed around, scattered throughout Central America, South America, the Caribbean. And it's because their lands was taken in St. Vincent and they were told they were just African people. So this is a, a repeated trend throughout the Americas where dark skinned people are pushed to the side, told they're African, and now they have no uh, indigenous birthright claims to the land that they've always been on. Mm -hmm. um, let's move forward for a minute. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about reparations. Talk to us about reparations. Are you for reparations? I'm definitely for reparations, definitely. Um, How important is reparations for us? Um, I think it's one of the solutions. It's not the end all be all, but I do think it's a solution for those that, have, that were harmed by, uh, by people in this country. Um, some people that are from the Caribbean were also sent to the Americas as slaves. Um, that's a part of history that no one talks about as well. Mm -hmm. um, some American Indians were, were shipped from here to the Caribbean, South America, etc., as slaves as well. So um, a lot of people were raided um, for their lands and stuff. So I do think it's important that we do highlight that and how we can push that forward to reparations. But I don't think that the way how certain groups are going about reparations in an honest way. And I think that's why the United States government has been kind of pushing us to the side about our stories, because we're not being honest. We're taking one broad brush and we're saying, we all went under that brush. And then when you go to the government, the government's like, mm, try again, try, come, come back, come back and try again. Tell me your real story. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that once we, we narrow it down, who actually was done wrong? Because you had people that were of color that were slave owners. You had people that was of color that were colonizers, that were colonists, that were conquistadors. You have to know which one are you in that story. At one point, you can't say that the planet was predominantly brown and black people. And then when we get to American colonization, now every, all of a sudden everybody's just white. <laughs> okay? That, that's not going to work. So you do have to know who you are in the story. So that way when you are going for reparations, you know for a fact, this is what happened, this is what we're taking, and this is what the United States owes me. All right. Before I go on with the next question, let me first give my brother Top Cat a shout out for making this interview possible. <laughs> Shout out to my brother, Top Cat. Uh, brother Jabari, can you do me a quick favor, brother? Absolutely, what you need. I need you to go to the 12 tribe chart because I want to see who are considered, who are the people that pose to be the Indians according to the 12 tribe chart. That's what I'm looking for. So okay. sister, um, I'm going to ask you as he's looking it up. Yeah. Are you familiar with the Hebrew Israelites? I have spoken to quite a few. Okay, now uh -oh, you know. She's whispering. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you know the Hebrew Israelites consider you to be Israel. Yeah. And a part of the 12 tribes. What can you tell us about that? And um, I can't tell you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, man. Um, I can't tell you much about that. Um. So you're not, you haven't done any research with your ancestors. The question is, do you agree with that concept? I know I don't. I've, I've done my genealogy. I traced myself to multiple tribes here in North America. Mm -hmm. And even in the Caribbean, no, I don't see a Hebrew connection. At least for my people. I don't wow. see a Hebrew connection. No. Who would be, <laughs> Jabari, who would be on the 12 tribe child considered to be um, the Indian? Hmm. Uh, you're asking someone who does not I have not. I, I have certainly. But not it should be there. If it, you just type in the twelve tribes, I have tribes. certainly not memorized it because I, I I don't agree with it. So I I think that it's a little you know it's a little strange. 
<laughs> but um, I'm going to actually find. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Does not want to leave me alone all over my face. Um, basically, what, what what I'll do is I'll find um, where we would see Native Americans. That's how I'll search it. Okay. Because somebody will have uh, done it that way. Yeah, you're right. And we'll, and we'll uh, look at it that way, even though that may not be a term that our sister uses. Right, right. <coughs> Okay, so let me ask you, sister. <laughs> you know, yesterday yeah. we did a show on spirituality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so let me ask you this question. What is the spiritual system of the American Indian? Well, that again is a very vague question, right? Which is why I wanted that to be asked. So um, once again, you're gonna have to find out which your tribe, what is their belief system? <coughs> For me and for my tribe, we do have a belief system that deals with the uh, Turtle Island, that deals with the, uh, the indigenous aspects of this of this particular side of the continent. Doesn't deal with any other continent, you know, for, for in, in, in this case. So I, like I said, I can't tell you what's the, the religious aspect for every Indian. But for the Indians, you do have to know your tribe. What works for the Apache is not the same what works for the Wampanoag. What works for the Wampanoag is not the same what works for the Choctaw. <clears throat> that comes back into what I said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Knowing who you are, getting acquainted with your people at a lot of these powwows that also deal with a lot of the spiritual systems that you are looking for. Have you ever been to a powwow? I have. I've been to quite a few. Do they accept you? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, when I went to, um, I'll say this. For the powwow, I can't speak for the Southeast. Northeast powwows, the people look like us. Okay. They look like Jabari's color. My grandma's Jabari's color. You know, a lot of us North East. As a matter of fact, um, Lord, uh, not Lord. What's his name? Um, Doctor Abba. They look like Doctor Abba. Lord Abba. Lord Abba. Not Lord Abba. Oh, Doctor Abba. Doctor Kaba. Doctor. Oh, Kaba. Professor Kaba Hayawa. Abba, Abba. It's all the same. Uh -huh. <laughs> but Doctor Kaba, when I saw his picture, I said he looks just like. My people. Well, he'll tell you he's um. He has Indian. Native ancestry. Isn't yeah. He looks like a northeastern American Indian. A lot of the Narragansetts, uh, Mohawks, Donadagas, the Shinnecocks. We have that. We have color to us, you know. So when you go to the powwows, you will see people that look like us. Yeah, okay? you would be considered Gad on the Twelve Tribe chart. <laughs> That's what they call it. The Indian is called the Gad. You would be of the Gad tribe. Oh, okay. You never heard of that. No. Oh wow, okay. Not even in my family, no. <laughs> so yeah, I was asking, um, one of the questions was, what is the spiritual system? But my response was to, you can't broad stroke American Indian right. spirituality. Because it's different tribes, right? So but which yeah. one would you um, find your home in? Um, is there an answer I would for that? Say, I would say I'm more so, I'm here in New York, mm -hmm. so most of my ancestry is here in New York. Mm -hmm which will deal with a lot of your Uncle Chong people, your Mohawk people. We mix heavenly with Narragansett, Nanakot, Lunanapi. So that's the little mixture we have. But we also have Cherokees that came from the South. And of course, we have a lot of Caribbeans. Like I have Africans in my family now, mm -hmm. definitely. My cousin's getting married to an African next weekend. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say, because I was about to be very <laughs> proud of you just now. <laughs> I, mean, I remember you saying you're not African in the video that we had. Right, and right. then I'm hearing you say, oh, we got Africans in our yeah, family. I my, thought you was going to say like your uncle, your cousin or somebody. My cousin. But you're saying somebody is getting ready to marry yeah, outside. Two, two Africans married in my family. Um, This is New York City. Let's keep it real. We mix. Uh-huh. We mates, it's, it's, and we see we see this, uh -huh. and we say you want to you a brother and sister, right? So it's not a big deal. Um, matter of fact, one of my cousins that just passed away, uh, rest in peace, my cousin Lisa, who actually lived on the Mohawk River. Um, she um, she's with a Jamaican who was a Rasta, and she was into Rastafarian. So she was definitely much, definitely much into the, the Pan African way of life because she transferred to being a Rastafarian. Um, my cousin. Um, that's actually getting married to, uh, I think he's Gambian. Um, sweet, sweet guy, you know? And um, yeah, I, look, I put on my, my dress, I get my dress made out there on Malcolm X Boulevard, because I respect the culture. My family right. respects the cultures that yeah. came into our family. So we're very multicultural, and we embrace all of it, from the so West tell me, to Africa. So tell me, mm -hmm. how can you prove you're an Indian 
without DNA? Well, that's very easy. It's the same way how an Evo would prove their Evo without DNA. I don't think they had to go to a lab to find out they were Fulani. I don't think they had to go to a lab to find out they were uh, the Jawa people from in Asia. Um, a lot of our customs we still practice. We just don't know we're practicing it. You know, it has been blanketed as African American black culture. Um, but I knew because my grandma told me. When I was a little girl, my grandma told me we're Cherokee, right? Um, I have an aunt that would tell you that, you know, don't call me black. I am a Cherokee. Um, these, these labels and terminologies, I think because we're in modern times, they're more acceptable now. Back in those days when people really were trying to hold on to what little bit they didn't know, they did not want to confine or conform into this new amalgamation that was starting to form, right? So like I said, even though we have a multicultural family now, we come together as Indians, got Africans, got Caribbeans, you got all types of European, you got all types of people coming together, we still know who's who. You can look at our, our phenotypes, you can look at how we dress. Um, we have people may come to the may come to our wedding with a cowboy hat on, you know? It's it's just it's about having the respect about who we are. So how did I know? My family taught me. How do I also know? New York State documented my family. And that's something that I showed on your um, your show mm -hmm. about how New York uh, State was trying to preserve the first founding families of a lot of the towns here before it became a New York City. These towns in Long Island, etc., they were, our people were vanishing out of them. But to preserve it, they did recorded interviews, recorded um, genealogy records that I can now go back and say, that's my people them. My great grandma said, yes, that's her people them. She know her grandma. My grandma know her grandma. And that's how it works. Are you familiar with Dane Calloway? Of course, yeah. Um, how do you feel about his teachings? Because a lot of um, Indians I know, they don't rock with him. They say <laughs> he's a little mixed up. He don't know what he's talking about. Or, some of them say they agree with some of the things, but you know, how, what is your take on on Dane Calloway? I like Dane Calloway. The, the Bobby beat him up one time in the. In the <laughs> you beat him up. Yeah, he had the he had the spanking because Dane Calloway was doing a lot of pseudo stuff. I wouldn't stuff. say I beat him up. I'd say I eviscerated him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's be clear. You didn't beat up Top Cats though. <laughs> <laughs> you said he didn't okay. beat up who? I was Top having cat. a lot of respect for what you were saying. Yeah, he ain't, yeah, he ain't ready Unless for Top Cat. Uh, I no, I, I talked to Top Cat. <laughs> yeah. To yeah, he spoke. Jabari spoke to Top Cat. Yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> I saw the debate. So, <laughs> so let me yeah. ask. Oh, you saw it? I watched the debate between those two, yeah. Oh, okay. So, of course, you rolling with Top Cat. Of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> but, but for Dane Calloway, I like Dan Calloway. I like his approach because um, I like the production of what he does. Mm -hmm. He does get people. Jabari to start. said the same thing. He said he do the, great production. Oh, great that's, production! That's, that's why he has a following. And he Real quick, I'm gonna get back to this. As many of the sisters that I have interviewed, none of them comes close to Nepal Shada in her information. She backs it up with facts. She goes in. Now, this is not a knock on Sanjo. That's I'm not talking about Sanjo. That's why I said many of the sisters that I have interviewed, Nepal Shaddaa to me is the one that comes with sources, with facts, and she's ready to prove it at any time. So that's why I say she's the best. That's why she is the HOK champion. And I don't see nobody taking that belt from her, especially a sister in a in a in a long time. I don't see that happening. Now, for the brothers, Sister Nepal, she went through the storm. She went through the fire over here. People came at her head over here. And y'all know I'm not lying. So you know she's the one that had tough skin. And she gives you back the energy that she received. So she's never disrespectful to the brother. But when you come in and you show that disrespect, she's going to come back at you with that passion and with that fire. And what brothers try to do is say, oh, look, she's emotional. No, she's not. She's just giving you back the same energy that she delivered from you. So I just wanted to say that and let you know, yo, listen, this is a tough environment to be in. And, and a lot of people know that's why a lot of Hebrews are afraid. They don't want to come in here one on one. They know that this is a tough environment. And so I had to get that out, y'all. I had to say that. You yeah. know how to capture Other the than, minds of the people. And there's another good reason why he has a good following, why, too. Why do you think? Rampant plagiarism <laughs> from Native American sources. It's been proved many times. Rampant plagiarism. Well, see, that's why, for me, 
like a like for my partner Tomcast. The best way to go about this is do with your own family. Because when you step into the realm of trying to paint, because we go from painting a broad brush for being black African American, to now you want to paint a broad brush for being Native American or American Indian. You step into this gray realm of being pseudo, like y'all say, right? This community. So, if I leave with my family, you can't not say that's not my family especially if i have documentations that i've never had a native american anyone tell me that's not my family you know what i'm saying um that's 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 not my type of realm but i will say that dan calloway does a good job making people think about it for a sec mm -hmm. because we have heard we got indian in our family we got indian blood or you know or grandpa was an indian or something like that right so it's like you you start to wonder hmm i never got a chance to delve into that though so, um, I say for people that's newly coming back into this, I think he does a great job bringing people in, you know, and okay. I, I'm not going to take that away from him. Okay, be honest with us right now. The world is watching. When did you realize you were Indian? Have you always known this or have you learned it later on in your life? I was a little girl. Oh, okay. I grew up right here in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Mm. Brownsville. Oh, that's why you know New York so good. Yeah. You, you <laughs> roll through here like that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. My whole, my family, we are New York. We are, we were here before a lot of people came. A lot of people came here through great migrations. We are already here. You know, a lot of people came through the recent immigrations in, in the 60s um, and and a little bit of late 1800s, 1900s. We were already here. So um, I always knew it. You know, my my grandma. Matter of fact, we were talking about this. I did genealogy with my my elders, and my grandma was like, you know, I remember. Um, my great, my second great grandma, Regina, and my grandma was like, she used to make the biggest cornmeal pancakes. A lot of people don't know that as Indian, we used to make cornmeal pancakes. We didn't make them with flour, you know? That's a new concept that kind of came along. And she would talk about like our histories down in even South Carolina. My, um, my southern side of my family came from the Berkeley County Low Country region. Um, I was able to trace them back to Virginia though, right? And they have a Cherokee connection. And we do family reunions. I think a lot of people forget that we do have something for family reunions. We do have something where a lot of us do keep track of who we are. Mm -hmm. um, there's this misconception that we don't know. Um, a lot of us do know. We have obituaries, we have family reunions, and we're able to openly talk about our indigenous connection. It's not, I think what it is, and this is what a shock for me, even when I met Top Cats, was that I even told him, I did not know it was so taboo to be dark skinned and to be an Indian. Um, that's new for me. Um, I didn't know I would get so much hate for even talking about it. Because to talk about or to embrace my African side of my family, no one has ever questioned that. No one sees me with a, a my, my Ankara dress on at a wedding with, you know, with full of African people and they say, oh, that you shouldn't wear that. But if I'm wearing my feathers, I'm trying to give thanks to, to my Indian family. It's like, you can't do that, you know? And um, I, don't, I don't think that's fair. And I would say that, that that dwells into the erasure that's further happening. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Shout out to my sister, Phoenix Moon. I know you're yeah. watching this, Phoenix Moon. Are you familiar with Phoenix Moon? Of course. Yeah, she beat Jabari up too. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't see that video? Not at all. Not at all. I, saw, I saw parts of it. I oh, mean, okay. No, 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 okay. No, none of that went. <laughs> but, I, you know, I, I have a, I, I'm listening and, you know, I, I, I'm appreciating. Yes. Do I? I, I, I can say I'm listening and I'm appreciating the conversation with my sister. Um, it, it seems very clear that she takes this very seriously and she's done some research, the, the, the issue that I have, and, and let me start by saying, I am not one to deny that there are people who are of African descent in the United States that have Native American heritage. I have to say that out front. Let me correct you, brother. Number one, she will tell you that she's not. Yes, she knows what I'm talking about. I'm going though, wait a minute, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, go ahead with it. She got to say it. She has to say this on that. Right. So, so that's that's uh, there. There are lots of records of close relationships with um, those people who came here from Africa, who were brought against our will from Africa, mm -hmm. and Native Americans. There are also records of challenged relationships. So we know that many of the folks in the five civilized tribes, as they're called, yes. actually enslaved Africans. That is true. 
Um, and some of them today, even some tribes, still will not allow those enslaved people to have membership in their nations. So there, so it's not just that we've always had a positive relationship, although in my reading of history, I think that it has been primarily one. Mm -hmm. We've also had some challenges as well, right? right? right, right. The, the, the issue that I take with some of what I hear, and I'm not sure if I'm hearing it from you. Okay. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm hearing it from okay. you. Is that there's some people who say that they are Native American, that they are Indian, mm -hmm. and they might point to a recent relative who, sa who says that they were Native American. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I always say to them is, that's not how lineage works. If you look at Jabari, Jabari has 50% DNA from my mother and 50% DNA from my father. When I go to my grandparents, mm -hmm. now I have 25% DNA from my maternal grandmother, 25% mm -hmm. DNA from my maternal grandfather, 25% right. from DNA from my uh, uh, paternal grandfather, and 25% for my paternal grandmother. Right. And so when I hear people say to me, and we all know people that have said this, I have Native American in my family. My grandfather, my grandmother told me that. Mm -hmm. The first question I ask is, was that paternal or maternal? Well, what would be and then I ask, and then I ask, follow this here. Then I ask, did they marry someone who was also Native? How did they know? Then I say, well, what about the maternal and paternal side? Mm -hmm. Because once we go back one, two, or three generations, right. we are now the, the offspring of 16, of 32. Right. And for us to argue right. that we are native, sometimes I think that it takes a little bit of magical thinking. Now that does not mean, that does not mean that I am saying that no one who is, I'm gonna say it again, very mm -hmm. clearly, because somebody's gonna misinterpret me. And I'm gonna have to say it again. <laughs> I am not saying that there are not people who have African descent in the United States that do not also have native descent. I know that there are. We have very clear records of those who are. Okay. However, when I hear people try to make it sound, and I think I might've heard you say this, mm -hmm. you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. That part of the issue is also that um, we were reclassified. Like, yeah. for example, at one point or another, people who um, were darker skinned people were told that they were native. No, were told who were native were yeah. told that they were African. Yes. I hear that continually. Yes. And I have to say, as a historian, as someone who has studied history, I'd say even more than my adult life who has a degree in history, That's who teaches history. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen. But you don't know my family. Now, I'm not talking about your family. I know. It is possible that something happened in your specific no, family. No, it's not possible. It did happen. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> see, I am just saying. That's why I said there's a difference between doctrine and genealogy. Well, I'm not talking about doctrine. No, I understand. You I'm have talking a degree, about so you believe what you believe, but I know what I know. You. We're not talking about belief. <laughs> We're not talking about belief. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is why I lead with my New York history, because I know a lot of these scholars don't know. They don't know New York Indigenous history. They don't even know that we exist here. They don't. New York City. We're is sitting a in very Manhattan. This is Manhattan. Yeah, but you, but you're a Pan African, so you're gonna have an Afrocentric view of this land. What does that mean? I'm a Pan African. You're a Pan African. What does that mean? It means that you believe in the liberation and for your African people to unite. You don't believe in that? I believe my people uniting in Americas. Okay, so you don't believe that? I believe that the Americas, North, Central, and South, and the Caribbean need to take their power back from colonizers that came from the East and came and conquered our land. But you've also said that you have African in your family. I said I have Africans that married in my family. Okay, so let's say Africans that married into your yeah. family. You don't believe in Pan-Africanism. You don't think no. that they should no. unite. No, I think Africans should unite. Okay, but I so don't then, think Pan-Africanism should be here on American What is Pan-Africanism? I just explained it to you. Here's the thing. I feel that the African people deserve their liberation, mm -hmm. right? The American people deserve the same thing though. You I, can't, you can't. Oh, well, we're not going to disagree problem? with that at all. Oh, okay. well, no, I don't think well, that we're. Let me explain. I think the American people, we've gone through about five to 600 years of constant colonization. Some of the conquistadors were actually African people. You know that? 
When you describe a conquistador <laughs> as an African, you were describing the exception to the rule. Oh. So there were certainly people, there were even people who traveled with Columbus, mm -hmm. <clears throat> who we know were Af people of African descent. Yes. So, but to, to focus on them and pretend that they are the narrative of the conquistador, I think would be a little well, disingenuous. Well, to not focus on them and to make this seem like this is a white story. Well, it is a white story. It's not a white story. Okay. It's okay. Not. What, what language, not. what language does conquistador come from? The, the word itself. And the Spaniards were actually, okay. they were melanated. The Spaniards were melanated. They were melanated. Are you talking about the fact that Spain was ruled by the Moors the for Moors 900 came, years? The Spaniards were, look, I, but they didn't you know displace all of the Spaniards though. No. So let's, let's say this. Me and my family, right, in mm -hmm. New York. Um, like I said, we're multi-tribal. Because of what happened, people migrating around. This is how you get all these different tribal connections here throughout right. history. Okay. What we also have is a European connection. No one talks about the missing key and the missing link. That is your black European. I know they exist because they're in my family. I've seen them in my genealogy. They came to New York with the Dutch. They were the Dutch. They came here as some of them as the French. They came here as the Scottish. A lot of the Black Americans do have Scottish names, Wales names, but that, that doesn't Irish mean, names. But but Queen, that doesn't mean that they were Scottish, French, and Dutch. So what were they it usually means that they were owned by the Scottish, French, and Why Dutch. Why do you always paint Black people as slaves in history? I'm certainly not only when painting. We were kings yeah, and queens of Europe. I Europe too, thought huh? you had listened to me speak before. They didn't. Come I to certainly people. don't focus on. The folks Dutch who did not I have certainly black don't of course they there. did of course okay, they did so let me ask you a question I could walk you just a few blocks from here and show you the first Dutch settlement okay. and they brought well, me, and they, um, Africans this. with let them let me say this you're going to tell me that in Netherlands never lived darker skinned people that were free once again, you are focusing on the no, exception no, 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 to Jabari, the rule. The overwhelming majority, the overwhelming majority of the people who were in the Netherlands then and today uh -huh. were people that we would consider non-melanated people. Come the on. overwhelming number of people <laughs> that in the in the Netherlands, in Spain, uh -huh. in in France, I'm not saying that there weren't Africans there. If you had oh, listened to me African. speak, if oh. you had listened to me, they're certainly Africans. <laughs> They're certainly Africans. Trust me, I'm going there with you in a minute. Okay, okay. So I want to I want to say there's certain I'm not saying that there that um, there weren't Africans that traveled to those places. By the way, for did the most part, for the people? most part, they called themselves Africans as well. That's the part of the story that <laughs> folks that are Aborigines always leave out oh, or Indians on. always leave come out. On. Right. You're, you're trying um, and to control so, a narrative. No, I'm not controlling a narrative. I'm unfortunately teaching history well i'm teaching you but my family history I, it, well, I listen, think that's where we're I'm having gonna, this conflict so let's talk about your family history let's for a second let's talk about your family I'm, history i'm related to the townsends okay wonderful the so townsends you mentioned were in port washington long island okay the townsends are also related to robert townsend at oyster bay new york great oyster bay new york was also the home of the american revolutionary war great robert townsend yes he owned african people right or black people because that's what they put in the books is african mm -hmm. but they were negro black right but guess what there were also free Townsends that lived in upstate New York and Oswego, New York. Those are my Townsends. Where does the name Townsend come from? It comes out of Europe. That's the side that came So how Europe. usually when people come yeah. and they receive European names. They didn't in receive the, it. They were. They, they came they from were Europe. They always free people. They yes. came from Europe. They came from Europe. Sis. My name, you can look up the Sis. name Libba Jane Townsend. Sis. We used to do a parade in okay. Port Washington. Hold on, no, because you can't. Let's, you can control the narrative for black, no, but you I, can't control the narrative for I'm certainly not controlling a narrative. So I'm you certainly can look not controlling Libba, a narrative. L I B A Jane Townsend. We used to do a parade for her in Port Washington, New York. Okay, the Townsends are. They do have a lineage that comes out of Europe. We also mixed with Germans. Not my family, but there were other parts of my family distant that mixed with Germans. How do I know that? Because I found long lost cousins that are in the Puspatuck tribe that married my Dumpson family. Libba the Jane. Dumpsons were always this color. Can I ask a question? the Mohawk lineage. Can I ask a question? So you can, you can push that narrative. Can I ask a question? Go can ahead. I ask a question? Libba Jane Townsend. Yes. When did she live? She was in the early 1800s. I can show you my ancestry. Actually, I can show you from heritage.com that she was born in New York. I know. But I thought you said that she came from Europe. No. 
the replay this. I said replay the Townsend this. family came from Europe. Replay this. Yeah, replay, replay, replay. <laughs> because, see, this Sometimes you have to jot no, notes see, and this replay. This is what happens when you don't but, know genealogy. Okay, so let me ask you this. I clearly said that Townsend. Let me hold ask on, you this. Hold on, no, no, Jabari. On, let talk, let she never answered know, the Jabari, question. No, Jabari, I know what you do. I watch you long enough on YouTube. That's wonderful. <laughs> I watch you long enough That's on YouTube. That's wonderful. You over talk to stir a narrative. Not right? at all. I said the Townsends come from Europe. Then why did you tell us to look for Libra Jane Townsend? Because she's an example of, of the black Townsends that existed. That oh. is playing fast and furious. I was born Jabbar, I was born Corwin Jacobs. Simply because I'm black and my name is Jacobs means that my family came from Europe. I know they came from Europe. I, have I know exactly family. where the Jacobs name comes into my lineage. But I want to go into Libba okay. uh, Townsend. Well, let, let, I, you let said you want to talk about I your didn't family. I Townsend last name through so, slavery. So let me let ask you this. Let me, have, hold on. And I've actually been to the Townsend so, Museum. So, I've actually spoken to the person who runs the museum. Okay. I have multiple museums that are connected to my family okay. in New York. Okay. So you, you so let me ask this. But so let me you ask. Know, you so know so let me ask to. you. So let me okay. ask you. So let me mm -hmm. ask you a few questions. And okay. and you want to deal with your family? So sure. We'll talk about your family. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So um, as we talk about yes um, your family, you mentioned that your grandmother mm -hmm. told you that she was native. I'm going to ask you the same question, Queen, mm -hmm. because when you get to the second level of your lineage, you're talking about being the offspring of four different people who were the offspring, uh -huh. each of them, of two different people. Mm -hmm. So are you saying to me that your grandmother, who said she was Native American, married a man mm -hmm. who was also Native American? More likely. Now is this on your, more than likely? Yeah. Okay. And how why. about, wait, why? wait, wait, I'm not oh. finished the question. Oh. So is that, all, are you talking about paternal or, or, or maternal? Um, um, this is my maternal line. Let's okay, maternal. so on your paternal side. My paternal, yes. You're saying that both of those individuals were also no. Indian. No, no, no. no. So that's who are they? That's not what I'm saying. So what I'm talking about as being an indigenous American to North America, we're talking about my mother's side of the family. And they branch off into being these different people that I just explained. So, so can you tell us anything about your yes, father's grand, your side, father's parents? Yeah, sure. My paternal side, they have a connection that takes them to the Caribbean. Yeah. So, and you're saying that they were the native people of the Caribbean, or are you saying they that they were people of that. African they descent? They were also mixed with Irish. It was, we have a lot of mixture. Well, here the, the Caribbean. question for a second. Here the yeah. question for a second. Yeah. I'm asking, mm -hmm. because we're talking about your father's side now, yeah. your father's side, mm -hmm. was it necessarily mm -hmm. the native people there? No, Were they also they people of African descent? They mixed. Were they also people of African descent? No, they mixed. They weren't people of African they descent? They mixed with Irish as well. But, but okay, but you're Irish talking about mixed. In, what the is the mix? Describe, of, describe the mix. Because you have to understand, when you're dealing with the Caribbean, we're dealing with the Spanish first, right? So the Spanish What came, country are you talking about? We're talking about Barbados. Okay. So it's about Barbados, right? Okay. The Spanish is going to come. Who are going to? Who the Spanish is going to meet? I'm asking not about uh, no, 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 general not, history. No, 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 no. Jabari, you might misunderstand you my question. Have, no, let's let's have a conversation. You might misunderstand let's my have question. A I would love. We're who having a conversation. Spanish, who did the Spanish meet? Uh, we're we're having a conversation. Check this. But I want out. you to answer the question, and I'm not. And who did and the listen. Spanish meet? And folks. You would think that I was wrong oh, okay. if I saw a wonderfully, incredibly beautiful sister here and didn't ask her tough questions. I'm going to make this her answer. Question, I'm going to make her answer the question. <laughs> no, you haven't. You're the one that hasn't answered the question. Okay, let me ask you a question. What were those people mixed with? You're the one that hasn't answered I, I the question, not me. Though. No, you, you keep, said they you were keep, mixed with. You, you want me so who to are they say mixed something? With? But who you're are not, they mixed with? But you're not walking with me. Walk with me real quick. Who was Tatumba? I'll do that as long as you agree question. that you're going to no, 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 answer no, no. the I other you. question. I got you. You're, gonna, you're agreeing you're answer the question. I, I, I answered your question. No, you but haven't. You're keep you haven't. It in a different way. You haven't so answered the question. Think, I, I think this is going from you hearing my story to now interrogation. No, please. And this is, this is what, no. what Pan Africans do. No, no, no. No, no. no it's interrogation. First of all, but let's, 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 no, let's, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's walk it down. But I want to say, let's pause for a second. 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 Okay. I think it's important for us. I'm, I'm willing to call you an Indian because you said you're you, an you Indian. You have to call me one. Okay, I got it. I'm right. willing to do that right. respectfully. You came here and you said you're a Pan-African. You are a Pan-African. You haven't asked me how I define myself. 
But I met you. And so what I so what I want you've met me plenty of times on the internet. (laughs) Okay. She's met me plenty of times on the internet. (laughs) I have never seen this sister before in my life. I want you to hear wait, Sonetta. I want you to hear that I'm expecting this sister to give me the same respect that See, I will give her. this is what dark-skinned people go through in life. We, we're not, I, we're I not want her, for who we are. I you know? want her to give me... I'm not even trying to be a I victim. I want her to give me the same respect. But I told you respect. what my mix is on. Because now you're telling me I'm and a Pan-African. I told you I have a multicultural family. You and did not tell me what the mix was on your father's side. I told you. You said they mixed you with asked. Dutch. And I, I said Irish. See, that's what Irish. I mean. You don't listen. I, I was she glad she said listen. that. Well, who was the they that mixed with Irish? Who is the they you that mixed said, with Iris? Okay, you know what? Let's take it back. Because as a, as a, hold on, let's take it back. As a scholar, I respect more from you. As an elder, I respect more respect to a younger generation that is trying to tell a story. And what you're doing, what you're doing, you're doing something that a lot of us younger people, we, this is the reason why we, we stay away from people like you. Mm because you don't hear us. Mm. You're looking for something, you're looking for me to say something, but you're not hearing me, you're not leaving listening to me. So what I want to hear. <laughs> you want to hear that they What African. I want to, no, that's yes, not necessarily do. what I want to hear. hear I, we started We started by saying that I'm going to give her, let me finish, let me finish. I want to start by saying that I'm willing to give her the benefit of the doubt. If she explains that her offspring is only Native American, I will celebrate listen, listen. that. No, 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 no. What I'm no, saying no, no, to you no, no, is, no, no, wait no, a minute, no, no, what I'm no, saying no, to no. you is, is that everyone watching is able to see that I'm asking questions about lineage that I have not gotten answers to. That doesn't you mean you don't have, you don't it doesn't, wait, listen, lineage, listen to me. Though. It really doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it. you don't have answers. That's why I'm asking. I told you, you I'm government documented and you're still okay. doing what you're doing. Okay, you can Let's be government documented, but just I'm ask I don't have your document. I docu- can be government I government don't government. have your documentation. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. You want to see? You're being defensive right now. Have you watched Sinatra's bill? You're being so defensive right now. Because it's my lineage. Uh, that's why I'm asking you to talk about your we lineage. Should defend our lineages? Uh, no, only when it's under saying. attack. It's not, uh, your lineage is not no, under I'm attack. Un- How I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you. I'm trying to understand. And as soon as I asked a few questions, she I got asked uncomfortable. You a simple question. Yeah, after not answering the question. But I answered your question. Jordan. No, right, you did not. This is the build. This is the build. Ask the question one more time. I'm going to ask it again. You saw they are they natives mixed with the. Uh, as you yes, know, as that. you know, when we get to the level of our grandparents, we the offspring mm-hmm. of four different people. And they are the offspring, each of them of four different people, of two different people, then four different people, and so on and so on. So when I hear people say that they are Indian or Aboriginal or Native American, I, I listen. I want to hear how they quantify that. I am not saying that's impossible. And, I'm, and I want you to hear I'm not saying that your lineage that I don't know is impossible. The fact I'm just saying, I'm just trying, I'm just time. trying to understand mm-hmm. how the sister that got in front of me got mm-hmm. here in terms of her lineage. You mentioned your grandmother on your mother's side, and you said that she more than likely married a man. Like, what well, did you say? Well, I did say, okay, married, you're right. You're you right. said more than likely. That, I'm that. trying not to misrepresent you. See, you, listen, listen, listen. Can you say it. this? Because <laughs> Top Cass and I had a difficult yeah. conversation, this conversation doesn't have to be difficult. Right. I'm, I'm not here to beat you up or to argue with you. I want to understand. Okay, wait, but here's the thing. To understand is to listen, though, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. With my mother's family, listen, I told you that multi-tribal. Right. One of my aunt's father, he came out of the Narragansett tribe. They came from Massachusetts. My, everybody kind of migrated to New York at a certain time because of the opportunities of jobs, right? My great-grandmother, her husband was Cherokee that came out of South Carolina. Dale Hawkins actually on the Dawes Rolls. Hawkins family. Acts about us in the Carolinas. This is what I'm trying to make convey to you is that not everybody's lost in trying to find out who they are. Oh yeah, I got that. I was raised by my mother's family. Right. I was raised by Indians. Okay. If you saw my grandmother, you would say, that's an Indian. You would not say that's an African. You know how I know that? Because I've had plenty of people that met my family and they know who we are. I've never got this question until I got to YouTube. I'm not questioning you. I'm not questioning that. New York, let me tell you about the Hawkins family. Did you hear me question her about her mother's father? Let me tell you about the Hawkins family. She being slippy on her father. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people respect who we are in this city. 
the Hawkins family, some of your first black owned businesses in Queens, New York. We mixed, we came from, like I said, it came from South Carolina, they came to New York, they mixed with my indigenous family from New York, and that's how we were able to expand our numbers here. We have a lot of famous Hawkins. You know the Hawkins sisters, gospel singers? You know Yusuf Hawkins, the one that was gunned down in Brooklyn, New York? Yeah, we are well known. Yusuf Hawkins considers his family concerns themselves African. That, and that's fine. Because oh, they branched minute. off. Wait they a minute. Wait not, a minute. Wait listen, a, listen, wait a minute. <laughs> I know that Hawkins you. family. You're being very petty. How am I being petty? I just Explain said, pettiness I just said here. I'm a multicultural family. Okay. I have cousins that... But you're that, saying listen, that you weren't African. And now we're talking about a family weird. that I know. What's wrong with him? Sonetta, you know the Hawkins family. My, hold on, okay, let me bring Do you not know the he Hawkins doesn't, he family? Doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't quite understand how this works. Okay, my aunt, right? So my aunt, right? Mm -hmm. She comes from Indians, right? But she had kids when an African, right? He's Nigerian. My little cousins would be what? Half Nigerian, right? First generation, right? So wouldn't that be, I say I have Africans in my family, right? Yes. Yes. You sure you're not going to be honest to answer the question? Yes, right? What, what, what question are you asking me to answer? Whether you have inter folks who intermarried into your family that are African? I never questioned that. Okay, I, so I that means you. that I have cousins that have different cultural backgrounds. A lot of mixing has occurred in New York what, City. But, I said that from the beginning. But it does sound strange. Can we, you, can a, you, no, here's the thing. Can you admit with we, me? Listen, can you at admit any with family me? function here, here's that a we question. have, we embrace... Here, any cultural connections we have got it we don't sit here and say we all just this wonderful because we understand there's a side of our family that's predominantly this because this is north america but we also understand there are people who have mixed in along the way africans jamaicans uh um like i said europeans we got i got family members who marry white people that's wonderful but i'm not i'm still not getting an answer what do you want the answer to? I'm still not getting an answer. Because you're I'm, not understanding and, and I'm trying, how, how and, and African sis, connection queen, starts queen, to occur in I'm recent trying, times. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying my <laughs> best. I'm trying my best. I'm trying your best. I'm trying my best. Yeah, there because, is no... No, yeah, Sonetta. No, I, I, no, I no, like, no, 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 no. I feel like he's very emotional because, about that Because I'm, I'm uh, emotional. Why would I be emotional about I, your I family? I, what I'm trying to understand... Going on there. What not, I'm trying to understand... You can't even let me get to the other questions. Whenever I speak, whenever I... I thought your questions were done. No, so if, were if there were more that you wanted asked... That's why I stayed quiet and listened, by the way. You didn't listen. Oh, I didn't listen when you were talking to Sonetta? Folks, can I say this? Can I say this? You, you're going to actually put this if in the If you've come to Sonetta TV Studios... You know that if you say something, even when I say something, people are going to ask you to support it. I support and it, and it, it. doesn't I have mean and it doesn't mean that. and it doesn't mean that we're being disrespectful. Wow. That's the way that we come to understand. So let me ask here you, Sanetta, do you respect my documentation as government official as proof? of who I am? Or do you only accept the only or do you or do you just accept stuff like this? Because, see, this is a narrative that's being pushed. Oh, My goodness. tribe didn't own black slaves. That doesn't mean that that, that book so doesn't say... So what are we doing? So what kind of queen, interview are we doing queen, here? Queen, this, book, this doing. book doesn't that's say it. this book doesn't say that everyone owned black slaves. This says Indian slaves. And you know yeah, what you're trying to push. There were black, pushing a narrative. I didn't push anything. Everybody, I didn't push anything. The five civilized tribes I said had to, slaves. Listen, I'm not a part of five civilized tribes. I got tribes, that. So. I had never even said you were. You said that I never said... No, I did not. I did not. I did not. I said that African Bobby, you people. Know what I, think? I that, said hold on, African. Hold on, Bobby, hold on. What I think, <laughs> sister, is that you watched Jabari deal with Top Cat, and you watched him deal with Phoenix Moon. She coming in so, hot. Right. So she coming in hot. I'm asking her a question. She is not answering it. <laughs> I, I, but I answered his. Okay, Sanetta. Yeah, did I answer his? Did I answer his question, Sanetta? He feel you didn't. Sanetta, you know I did. How does Sonetta know that? <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Sonetta. No, no. Here's the question again. Here's the question no, again. No, we're not doing that. Next Here's the question, question again. Next and let me say question. this. And let me question. say, let me say this. It. That's true, okay, right? Then who was Tatumba? You gave me the name of one person? I told you both of them were annihilated and you give me one name? That's because, my point. Because, <laughs> That's, because you guys... Can you see that's, that's my a, point? That, they said the same thing about North America. We were annihilated. But we still here. Nobody said that most of them. Yes, neighbor. they did. No, they said no. a, when the, when I was talking to you. Yes, the they fact do. That she is an Indian. I'm not sure. <laughs>
I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at that. I'm, I will accept the fact well, that she. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Listen, advocate. listen. I'll accept the fact that she they has at least. Ways. I'll accept the fact that she has at least um, partial um, Indian heritage. Okay. I'm not questioning her grandmother. So let me ask you, sister, do you feel that you have some type of um, African DNA in you, or you say um, you don't have no DNA of African? Not to my knowledge, but things happened. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and say no definite right people traveled my people were seafaring people right um relationships happened uh, indians were in europe at one point before columbus came corn is all over the world i'm not gonna sit here and go definite but i definitely don't respect people who are just definite african and they feel like they don't mix with nothing else either i, I can't i can't respect that that side of the argument either who are you who are you for i hope you're not throwing that at me Maybe. I hope you're not throwing at me. Maybe. I I have shown my lineage. <laughs> I have shown my lineage very so clearly. I, you don't deserve to hear it after oh, you've been so rude. Not you don't deserve to hear it after you've done <laughs> slapped the brother who invited you in his house. Come on, Jabari. I didn't, I didn't know I was coming to your house. Honey. Ask questions, Jabari. Come on. Yeah, I, you know, the thing that's very funny is uh -huh. um, just recently, and this is DNA. By the way, I agree with you that you would rather have genealogy than DNA. <laughs> I agree with her. I agree with her. <laughs> I, I agree wow. with her. I think that most people would rather have genealogy than DNA. The problem is uh -huh. that the transatlantic enslavement trade made some of that difficult. That is and true. so to some, to some degree what we've done is we've augmented part of the story that we know with the things that we don't know. That's and that's, that's really it. We, no one prefers DNA than to actually call the name of an ancestor. She's absolutely right. Who would prefer that? <laughs> you were, you're right. See, the, the thing is, if we were having a conversation, you would hear that there's some things I agree with. I know. It's there's some okay. things I don't necessarily understand. That's what I'm asking you. It's okay. That's what but I'm asking you. Regardless of the case, I respect you, even as an American, and you want to see the liberation of the African people. I respect that of you. For me, as an American, can you respect me when the liberation of my American people? Do, what do you think I'm going to say? You better say yes. How would I say anything <laughs> other than that? If I said something other than that, you'd be talking to someone that's not Jabari. Jabari's yeah. tied up in a room someplace. Exactly. I think that the people of, particularly those people who have been oppressed, benighted, need to unite. Yes. You know, but, but, but the challenge that I have, and this is, you're not going to like what I'm going to say. I know. It's not meant to be offensive at all. Because not just to you. I say <laughs> okay. this to anyone. I think that part of the challenge we have is if we're not clear who we are, mm -hmm. we won't know what to do. Right. Um, and so I think that there's nothing wrong. I am completely comfortable with um, people who have Native American um, ancestry. I have no issue with that. American Indian. I can say American Indian. I can say American Thank Indian. You. I can say First Peoples. Yes. I, the term is not partial to me. I'm willing to call those people what they want to be called. Thank you. Okay? We appreciate that. So, so that's not the issue. The issue is that I know that for many people of African descent, mm -hmm. this may not be you. I still don't know if it's you or not because you wouldn't answer the question. But for many people of African descent, they have sought to be anything but African for many reasons. And that is problematic. Why? That is problematic because part of the reason why we don't want to be African is because those enslavers removed our names. Those enslavers told us that Africa contributed nothing to the world. Those enslavers told us that Africans were less than human. The, the, those are all the things that they did. And they conquered and pillaged and destroyed. And they still are in control of the resources of the most resource-laden place on the planet. That is our birthright. Right. That is our birthright. So, so the, but if we don't recognize, well, can I ask this first? please go ahead. Do you think that that same narrative is not also on American Indians? That we we were killed up by smallpox, we lived in teepees, we never had anything, we didn't, we had third and fourth grade educations all the way to the 1900s. Do you think that same narrative is not pushed on us over here? As a matter of fact, let's go to Central America. Like I said, I'm very close to a lot of Garfuna people. And they're not even allowed to go into the city, especially in Honduras, to get jobs. But Garifuna people, Garifuna people view themselves as people from Africa. Yeah, they call themselves Afro-Indigenous, okay. right? Okay. N but they're indigenous nonetheless. Right. Right? Just so, like you have, we have a lot of indigenous Native Americans that are mixed with European. 
Right. Does that mean they can't come to the powwow? No. Right. Does that I, mean they can't come enrolled members and they can be of that tribe? Does that mean that mixing ain't been going on for the last 400 years? But I'm going to say to you that no. part of what happens also, oh, okay. part of what happens, you and I probably needed to have a conversation before we got here. Probably, yeah. Because I want to say to <laughs> you, you want to hear something here. interesting. You want to hear something interesting. Yeah. I never <laughs> intend to argue with people. Yes. I never intend to argue with people. It ends up being an argument. Now, hold up. Sister, declare my name so you can go back and say, <laughs> Yes, I know. So I never set me up. Jabbar, I, okay, personally, since we're off camera, what is something that, besides that, you, like you said, you, you believe it's a small number of black people that have indigenous heritage? It doesn't mean there's none. Right. But do you believe that the indigenous people look like me? There are some that do. Yes. A lot of us Northeastern people look like Yes, there are some that do. There are some that do. You're louder than me. There are people that are. Like there are some that do. There are some that do, <laughs> clearly. So, so that's the point that we're but, making. But, it's like, but I think that but it's when we begin to paint a broad brush, right. part of that broad brush is painted because of the dastardly evil things that have been done right. to the name of Africa. I wrote a book, right. a scholarly book, right. right? Seven Little White Lies, A Conspiracy to Destroy the Black Self-Image. There is a conspiracy to annihilate people of African descent. And it has occurred for a really long time in the law. Mm -hmm. It's occurred um, in the attempt to actually um, literally control the reproductive um, uh, uh, lives of black women and men. Really good book I just started reading called well, Rethinking Rufus. Us. You live in New York. You, I'm sure you don't know that tribes like the Shinnecock a dueling in tribal numbers. Did you know? You never asked me if I had been to a um, to a powwow because you assumed that because I'm wearing an we African outfit that I would never have gone. <laughs> okay. But See, uh, uh, I think okay. that you're seeing a two dimensional character, and it's because I beat up Top Cat. Top Cat got the brakes Top beat Cat. off of that brother. <laughs> Please look at just look at the. But just, Jabari, Jabari, there was a poll taken, you know. Okay. But but that's you don't want to see the poll. That, wasn't, that was home field. You don't want to see the poll. That was home field. You don't want to see the poll. But here's the thing, Jabari, Jabari. This is what I'm saying though. Like, you then you should know that in the especially in the Northeast, the people look like us. Now, when you get more into the well, some of them do. Not everybody, but some no, of them. But do. yes, we we range from different. And yeah, understand. Right. It's over 400 years of colonization. Sure. So that means that there's, there's raping, there's pillaging, there's absolutely taken. Okay then. There's so no that disagreement means that with there's that. Also, a whitewashing of tribes that's occurring. You cannot th see. That's my thing. There's there's not an honesty here. When you see all of the, the depictions of the people they saw when they came off the boats from Europe, the people look like me. And then now you see those people they lighter, and I they're want the you ones to... running the tribe. Matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna show you a prime example. Let me show you a prime example, right? Shout out to Lord Alba, like I said. And because he tried to get this Native American girl to battle me on Twitter. You said Lord Alba? Lord Alba, okay. yes. Now she said Lord Alba. Naeem, yeah. yeah. They, I got Dr. Cab, I get their names mixed up. Uh, Naeem, yes. He tried to get a girl to battle me on Twitter. <laughs> Calling me a pretendian. <laughs> She's a pretendian. A pretendian. A pretendian. <laughs> so, oh, the girl is... You never heard that term before? No. No? Really? Now, oh, you, wow. see, you see I didn't use it. Well, no, that because term my was, goal is not to offend you. No, that term is for white people. It wasn't for us. And see, that's where people take things out of context, exactly. right? We'll get back to All right. Story. So, anyways, the girl, she asks me a question. She's like, "Why are you posting those photos?" I was posting my my Dumpson fam that I showed you on, my, on the show. I said, "Um, that's my family. That's my great grandma family." She said, "Well, that's my family too. So, why are you posting those photos?" Now, mind you, this is a Tom. This is a white lady that she year. She's yeah. She's okay. light skin, very light skin. But she's right? white. You're not sure. She's, she's not white. white. She's... Okay. Because there's a lot of white passing people. She's not white. She looks, you look a little Hispanic, but she's light. Right. Anyways, so I, you know, we get into a back and forth about the Puspatuck tribe and the Shinnecocks and um, how she was telling me how that's her family and that I'm, I'm claiming something I'm not. So I posted my ancestry record. I said, I showed her my ancestor on your show. Aaron Dumpson. Um, she sent me a private message. She says, oh my God, I did not know we were family. She actually sent me a long apology because she thought I was one of those people false claiming. And because of, I don't know what that dude, Lord Albert told her, 
But she said, I'm so sorry. I never want to fight with family ever again. But there are a lot of people like who are false claiming. Hold on, hold on. I know, I get it. But that's why I said I can't speak for everybody who's trying to take this journey and they, yeah. they can't they can't really prove it. You know what I'm saying? But for someone like myself, I do want to speak for the people and let people know we do exist. Okay. There's a lot of people that live in New York City right now. They don't know about Indian country, New York. They don't. All they know is brick buildings, concrete, and I don't know, and, and, and pizza. That They think that's New York culture. I don't know. There are a lot of New Yorkers that be at those powwows in Staten that's Island. That's not true. I went for many years. Of true. course I've been to powwows. That's not true. Not true. The powwows are always, they're not big, they're not big, well, they're not big Now powwows. listen, you tried to insult me by saying I they're was old. I might have been there before you were, Queen. But they're not big powwows. The powwow on Staten Island that I attended mm -hmm. every year for at least three years. Every year, mm -hmm. right? I have friends that, that are part of that group. Tell me to come through. Yeah. That this is before you and I were even, even knew each other, brother. I was attending there in the <laughs> 90s. But they're not big, and they're dwindling. There was like 500 people there. That's a big well, that's event. That's the time you went. It's yeah, that's what I'm trying it's, to say. It's dwindling. I've, I've been to, I went to quite a few parties. But there was a lot of looky-loos. Let's say that. There was a lot of looky-loos. You know what I mean? was just like, I what they doing? This is cool. I can't. And, I, I, and can't. that was cool. That but, was cool. But, but. but you got to be honest. Most of the people that come to the power, they're not of that tribe. They're coming to enjoy the experience of seeing native people. I'm sure that's true. That is true. I'm sure that's true. As I said, the members, the people who actually say, I have a bloodline to, these, to this particular tribal powwow, that number's small. But these people have to make money, right? I, I agree with certain tribes. Certain tribes say they don't want to do powwows because they don't want to be a cosplay. They don't want to put on a show of course. for colonizing. Of course, of I course, respect of that course, too, right? of course. But at the end of the day, it's like, Without a powwow, it's like you have to go through this extra loop and loop to prove who you are. You got people like, um, let's say, shout out to uh, Shanae Bullock, um, who is Shinnecock, and she's darker than me, and she's beautiful. You what know? are some of the things they do at powwows? Um, I mean, you got you got the spirit dance. Um, and you know what's interesting, though? When I went to the Shinnecock um, powwow. I've been to the Shinnecock powwow. Yes. They were serving soul Why food. Why did you go, Jabari? <laughs> because as a person... Ship? You was doing liquor ship? Yeah, I think... I, no, actually, I was going. I was going in the 90s. So I was there oh, with oh, a... You thought that I was there. Now, see, you're not you know filming this, are you? <laughs> yes. He's filming it. Yeah. I was there with a sister. Let's put it that way. Was she indigenous? Yeah, she said she was. I still don't know about her background exactly. Oh. But, um, you know, uh, you know that's, that's why I was there. But that, I certainly... I certainly did. That's why I went to the Shinnecock powwow. Mm -hmm. I've been to other powwows as well. Mm -hmm. Because when I think that um, we get to see people who are nature-based, mm -hmm. who have a connection to the earth, and they're having their ceremonies, and they, they in many ways, inspire others of us who are not of that, that, yeah. um, that particular cultural iteration mm -hmm. that have a similar view on, on the earth. And so for that reason, I wanted to celebrate with them. I wanted to support them. I wanted to spend money so, there. I so wanted I'm to. Saying, what are the activities that they do? They do she mentioned the spirit dance. Dancing. She mentioned had the ring of fire. tons of food. They burn the fire. And all that? No, well, they have it. The way how they have it set up now is it's, it's a set performance that occurs. What? Okay. Yeah. No. I no. danced with the Shinnecock. You were in the middle? Oh, you better believe I was. What? You better believe I was. Yeah, There's a picture Indian. somewhere. There's a picture of this somewhere with Jabari are you, are you with hair, Indian? with hair dancing. Do you have indigenous heritage here? I do. What's it's very name? small. It's very, very small. Okay. But but people, but you uh, you should know, it's not that I don't, um, it's, I, it's not DNA. that I don't accept I it. It's, it's not that I don't accept it, but the way that if you look at the majority of my DNA, mm -hmm. what you will see is that I am primarily an African who was brought to the Americas, in the Caribbean, uh -huh. in South America, and also in the United States, mm -hmm. as an enslaved person. What do you think And then about... we intermarried with other people. What do you think... and, and, and in terms of uh, the urine, V, and DNA, you gotta hear this. I'm not counting those, those crackers that had, to, had something to do with our women. I don't count them. Yeah, right. I don't count them. Okay, so what about so this? Why what what do you crackers? think about... Why did you tone it down like they was around? You said... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> now, you know very well that when Jabari speaks, I rarely use pejorative terms. Right. That's as pejorative as you have probably ever so heard me use. what about the Native Americans, when they take their DNA tests off her, they come back as predominantly Asian. Should they still be called indigenous to this land? 
I think that when um, DNA is taken, if we believe that the folks that are depends on which test you take, I guess, is the, is mm -hmm. the, is the best, fastest mm -hmm. answer I can give you. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it, because it's pro proprietary, the challenge that we have is we don't know exactly how large their, um, their database is. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have a large database, mm -hmm. then they may not have clear, a clear understanding. Now, I'm going to tell you, Ancestry.com got a gigantic da a database. Gigantic! Mm, it's still pending. For the southeast, it's especially. gigantic. You have to look at the numbers. They don't. They don't have a good um, database for northeast or southeast. Have and you looked at the out, numbers? They just came out with an article. Okay. That said they're expanding their genetic markers. But this is the thing. Think about that. She the Native American. So oh yeah. Uh, she Native gonna have to show American. me the article. I don't just. <laughs> she got article. this because yeah, Jabari is Jabari. You I'm know this already. I'm... The Native American. They take their ancestry test, and in fact, there's an article about that, about mm -hmm. how the DNA test is making Native Americans immigrants now. Because when they take the test, they're coming out to be over 50% Siberian, East Asian, and things like that. So, but they still get the right to be indigenous to this continent, right? How is that possible? Well, I'm gonna say it this. doesn't have a large enough what, what, database what, for for Indians. What the, is what what she's the saying. DNA test does, and what I've noticed, I know it's a pattern. It makes nobody indigenous to North America. That's not true. Okay. That's not true. That's so not true. what it does is your percentages will always be a little low to be indigenous to this continent. But you know why? This that makes no, sense, no, though, no, Queen. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. This is what you I'm saw about to what say. happened listen to, to those I'm... people. Uh -uh, they got, got they got massacred. Of course, it's little. We're not gonna do that because I just I just drove through Pennsylvania. I see nothing but mounds. And if you don't know the mounded, that's a pyramid. Okay. A lot of people live around mounds. Don't know what they're living around. So <laughs> You're not you... gonna get me on that one. All right. So we gotta <laughs> ask the question. Let's let's, let's think she about said, this. She said, "Okay, we talking about something else." Let's, let's, let's think about this. Let's think about this and why I brought that up. If when the Native American takes the test, mm -hmm. it comes out that they are immigrants, <clears throat> right? Based off the genealogy and based off, not genealogy, based off the genetic database mm -hmm. system that they have. And then when the, let's say the, the black American now takes their test, they come out that a lot of times they're predominantly from somewhere else as well. The European takes their test, they also get the same results and they're predominantly somewhere else as well. They may still have that indigenous blood thing, at the bottom, maybe like a few, a 10%, 15%, but it's very low. Then who actually is indigenous in the true people of this land then? Pa who would have the most? Part of the challenge is that the folks that lived here mm -hmm. were so harshly treated by the European really? that so many people mm -hmm. perished. It's not true. And so I'm not saying that no one has native DNA. I'm still, I gotta say it again. <laughs> I, you keep hearing me say the same thing. But it's gonna, the percentage is gonna be smaller because of a thing called genocide. A lot true. of people, these Europeans massacred whole. That's listen, when you, let's give you an example of the island that um, we call Hispaniola today, mm -hmm. right? When Columbus got there, there may have been nearly 5 million people living there. That's a large number of people. Mm -hmm. In 20 years, it was completely, completely destroyed. There was completely. virtually, there was virtually no one okay. left. That is not true. I, and you guys have to stop with these narratives. Because then how would someone like him have indigenous ancestry if they're all gone? Then that means he's, they're not gone. I said, Hispaniola, you see, this is what they do. first of all. Second of all, I this want is, you to, wait, hold wait, hold on. Explain, Let me explain. This is not supposed to be um, Jabari T. Shan. Shan is supposed to be telling you about my indigenous peoples. But those aren't your indigenous peoples. Don't stop yes, it now. Stop said, it now. You're talking, we talk about Hispaniola. Stop it. We are talking about Hispaniola. Those are his indigenous people. I know. <laughs> so I know. how are you going to tell I me? I said like, I represent for the North. Central and South American indigenous. Oh, people. come on. Did That's I a big say, swath of land, Queen. Thank you, Sanada. That's a big swath of land. You, you, you go for all of your 54 countries of Africa? I go for all. Why did of you my assume that that's what I'm doing? Why would you assume Central that's what America? I'm doing? Do you know what my mother is from? You've watched me a lot. Do you know where my mother is from? Where I mother was even, born? I can't even finish my thoughts. <laughs> Where's my mom from? Where's your mother from, Jamaica? My mother, me my mother my is from Guyana. By the way, you interrupted me. I was talking. So let's let's get it straight. But you go on this spiel where it's like... It wasn't a spiel. I said me, two sentences. And where everything you're saying is false. 
Okay. <laughs> if you can't if, teach the okay, teacher, you're not okay, teaching me okay, about okay. my people. Now what here's, here? but but you're saying your people. My people. And I and I want you to hear, as mm -hmm. I said to you earlier, I have parentage from all over the Americas. That's I beautiful. said that to you. My mother is Guyanese. Beautiful. You got a Guyanese mother. And so I want you to understand mm -hmm. that. I am not saying that I am solely African, and I have said that already on camera. Oh. On camera, and I said it here said today. I said it. African. I'm not solely He's African. He's not solely African. There are other, I'm talking about the percentages of DNA. Okay. Now, I already said to you, I just said to you I'm not counting the European. I told you that. You have to. No, I don't. Oh. I don't. So I we don't. pick and choose. Yes. No. Yes. You are what you are, period. Well, I, I think that, let me ask, here's a question. Okay. If you knew very well that your mother was, the, the, was raped, mm -hmm. was raped, yeah. would you claim your father who raped her? No, we're not claiming So that's what I'm talking but about. But do you have proof that it was rape that yes. Tom made you European? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, yeah. that's what makes you, though. Here's a simple, here's a simple way to look at it. You're a spiritual person? Of course, I'm a priest. So then you believe that? You have been looking at me. She had been. She had been on, saying no, she no, looking no, no, at. No. She had been I'm looking at me. Asking a vague question. So but you, but you wouldn't ask that on, question. On, but then you understand that all things happen for a reason. Unfortunately. I don't look at it that way. No. Well, I don't look I at do. it that way. I don't look at it that way. Unfortunately, I would never say that the rape of my of the women in my family was part of a grand story, a grand narrative. So what was it? It was evil. It, it was, was a lack of order. But, it, but, but you're here. Sure, I'm here. And okay. so now and I have the thanks. opportunity to thanks. restore balance. And guess what? And that's what we do. You, yeah. you restore balance by understanding what wrongs and atrocities that happen. And then you also give thanks. I, don't, I, I give don't, thanks for drawing breath. It, because here's the thing. Here's the thing what I've noticed is when people try to run from the trauma, you, it's like you're trying to hide a piece of yourself. I'm instead not trying to just, run from the trauma. Instead of just embracing the fact that these things happen. And at some point, your answers are probably kill someone else. I'm not. I'm, Did you have any answers fighting a war? I'm not. I'm not running from trauma. Any I want you to. I, I want you to. I, I have lots of family that fought in war. Okay, so how but many people did But that's not kill? the same thing. How many as, people did they rape? That's not the same thing okay. as the rape and annihilation of, of, of wholesale groups what of people. What role did your people play I, in history of annihilating somebody else? But I in want a war? you. I want you to hear. Jabari, you have to that my just as here. you, just as you. I'm answering your question, but yeah. you have to listen. Just as you have chosen that you are Indian, even though you actually said that you might have African parentage. No. Yes, you did. Yes, she did. Yes, yes, she, mean, did. <laughs> yes she did. I'm choosing. No, what I, We're no. both choosing, Queen. Listen, I didn't say I'm choosing. I what, why you don't want <laughs> No, listen, listen to what I said. Oh, my God. You, you guys listen, send this Listen, listen. I said, our people and my sister. people were seafaring we people. I'm that. not going to say that. I come when we say that. You know, because it's like African, saying I have Asian. Like I'm going to say, throw that away. Mm, like, oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Let me ask you this question I don't here. see it. It's like what saying what I have Asian. Thoughts? I don't I don't see I have Chinese in my family. What no. are your thoughts on the current diaspora wars? Um, kind of what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we have a lack of understanding of who we are as people and respecting where we're standing. Um, I do believe that as melanated people, we do not give each other enough grace. Um, sometimes we do the work of the so-called white man and trying to define what dark-skinned people are supposed to be uh, inhibited to. We're dark-skinned all over the world, you know, and you can't take that from me. So I feel like with the diaspora, what's happening is that there are people that are indigenous to Africa. They're coming to America. They're meeting people that have similar complexions to them, but what they're hearing is not a similar story in some cases. Some cases, this is a, a similar story. But the descendants that, well, people who believe they're descendants of Africans, right? They're asking, well, what can you help me out with knowing about my people? A lot of African people, in my experience, don't necessarily have an answer. A lot of them would even say, I've never even heard of slave trade. What don't they school. have an answer for? I didn't understand. I didn't they get don't that have part. an answer for who these Africans were that were sold off. You're so, talking about a lot of continental Africans don't have yes, that answer? the ones that come here to America okay. and they meet the black American there's a disconnect where there's a mistrust that happens, right? So you can't tell me about something that I was taught about and then you're saying you only heard about it in school. 
right? So then it ultimately leads to, like you said, what people say, well, the transatlantic slave trade didn't happen, right? And I'm not gonna sit here and say that. No way, no, it happened. Slave trading happened, human trafficking, it's happening now. <laughs> it's never ended, let's just keep that real. There's, unfortunately, humans have a dark side. Let me ask you this. Um, yes. Do you agree with Dane Calloway when he teach that we were brought from America to Africa. He says it was reversed. And if you do, can you explain that for us? Um, I don't want to say it was in reverse. I'm going to say that there were people brought to West Africa. How do we know that? We found from America, you say? I would say from the Americas, okay. right? Excuse me. Um, why was they brought to Africa? Why? Well, For well, what purpose? Well, you have to see about the Colombian exchange, right? There's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be a transfer of food and products that's going to happen from the Americas. What me as a researcher, what I can see is that somebody has to cultivate those crops. We're not going to say the Portuguese came with the, the pepper from Jamaica and he just automatically knew how to grow a pepper in West Africa, in Ghana, right? There's a lot of similarities even in, in the foods. Um, we ask the question a lot of times, how did you get the tomato? And who taught you how to cultivate that tomato? So when we look at it in that sense, yes, I do believe there were Americans that was probably sent there, even if they were from Brazil, etc. cetera, yada, yada, yada. But in the, in the grand scheme of things, no, there were people that were brought from the Cape Verdes and et cetera to the Americas, whether it was Brazil, the Caribbean, I would say the bulk of the people that came did come to the Caribbean and to South America. The um, bulk of the people that came that were brought from in West the transatlantic, okay. From West Africa. Came, came from where? Came from? The Cape Verde Islands and then well, also West Cape Verde was small. Yeah, Cape Verde was small, but right. it, was, it was one of the, the, the main ports for the Portuguese to, to, to transfer the people out to the Americas, right? So, um, <clears throat> so pretty much, did it happen in reverse? I just feel like there were people going around. They also sent American Indians to Europe. They were, they, they had them serving indigenous servitude contracts in England. Um, you also had American Indians that were sent from Northeast, like the Pequot, sent to Bermuda and Barbados, etc. And as I said earlier with Tatumba, um, she was also an indigenous contract, um, I wouldn't call her a slave, but servant, who was an Arawak Indian, my complexion from Barbados, and she was sent to New England. So. The picture I'm painting is that it was a little bit of everything. People were shipping around because it was different companies that were involved in this. Are you familiar with the teachings of um, Kemet? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. What do you yeah. think about that civilization? No, oh, I think it was one of the greatest civilizations, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Where do you suppose life began? Now, I take it that you are not going to say life began in Africa. Um, no, it I'm not begins right that. here in America. Right? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that life began. I believe it began on both continents. How I, and this is how I see it. Um, Africa and how we know it today is connected to Europe. It's connected to Asia. That's to me and how I see it. That's one. That's one big old landmass. Africa's land connected mass. to Asia. When you look at the map, right? What's really separating? that area, Which from, area from the middle east what's separating africa all, all of that it's not really that separated so you're calling the quote-unquote middle east asia no oh. i'm saying that that is yeah, one separated? big landmass what's one big landmass? but they're just separated by borders to say this is asia this is europe this is the middle east and then this is africa but it's really not that separated it's kind of like america america where North Central, Central is just a land bridge that connects you to what? South America. We're not that separated, we're just separated by an imaginary line. But just like how America is separated from Canada, by what? An imaginary line. You don't see it like that? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. That's my theory though. That's just my theory. Um, I, 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 I agree that when we think about um, when we mostly think about what is sometimes called the Middle East, we that the, the term Middle East is racist. Let's be really clear. It's real. It's racist. Mm -hmm. um, it exists because those people who were um, in control of the British crown wanted to describe all of their holdings based on where they were in the world. So right. they have the Far East, the Near East, the Middle East. 
And it's racist, and we should just recognize it and stop calling it such. That place is clearly connected would to you, Africa. Would you, would you said that's Northern Africa, right? You could make that argument. I don't know if I would make it, is, but, I, but, but I wouldn't say you were wrong if you made that argument. Would you, is that part still connected to Asia? Which part? The Middle East or Northern Africa. <laughs> Didn't I just say I wouldn't make that I argument? Say, I, but I'm, I'm looking at <laughs> she it. She tried to draw it no, really. I'm looking at it at a point of imaginary lines that divides countries up, it divides regions up. But when you look at it from a grand stick, just stand back from a map and look at it. It's just one big old landmass, right? Same thing with America. It's one big old landmass. So I do believe that life started on both these land masses. I believe that there were a set of certain people that were here, and I do believe there was a certain set of people that sprung up over there. But how, does it, how does it happen that, how could that possibly That's occur that people could uh, actually sprout from two different places? How is that possible that something could happen in two different places and one of those spaces not be the first point where it occurred? Well, I mean, what what proof do we have that it is really the first point? Because well, we have, I mean, they they found we have we have DNA proof. Okay, and they have bones of a, of a also another person they found in South America. Sure. And there was predating the bones. It of doesn't Lucy. predate the bones of Lucy. It doesn't predate the. I I have heard that over the last year. It does not pre. How how old were those bones? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. No, right, no. What so. what happened with those bones? This is what you're saying. Okay. They were there. They were much earlier than they expected to be. Okay. Right. But we're not talking about millions of years. Um, and so we're talking about, we're talking, so about we're talking about hundreds of thousands, uh, 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 probably probably fifty thousand years earlier so than expected. Why? But let me ask this question. Why can it be that the people of the Americas they come from? one set of people and then the people of that african your asian landmass come from another set of people so you're well, saying that they were wait, two wait, different creations wait, wait. i i do believe that but and wait, then, and then wait, possibly wait, wait. the asteroid first of all we have to understand mm -hmm. that when we look at dna we can trace the dna we've been able to do this since the the late 80s we can trace the dna of everyone on the planet back to africa and we can tell you when they left based on the DNA markers. You also can, philologists, people who study languages, mm -hmm. will now tell you that the languages of the Khoisan people are the oldest languages on the planet. They have the largest number of phenomes, which probably means it's the hardest language to learn, by the way. Right. Um, and that we see the number of phenomes tend to, to dissipate as they get further away. Mm -hmm. And then we also have fossils. We don't have fossils that are older in the Americas of human beings. I keep hearing that. And whenever I hear it, I go, show me the article. And they go, oh, yeah, I was wrong. So it's because okay, so it's about, going around, right, but it's not so the case. Let's, so let's do this. Since, we're not, since you don't want to take it that perspective, what about the Y chromosome? Mm -hmm. And it being found here in America? No, the oldest? Every, every human being has a Y chromosome. The oldest Y chromosome is not in the United States. Really? No. You sure about that? I'm positive about that. You sure about that? I am positive. I'm positive as my name is Jabari. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that. Since you want to play science, we can play science. But, but let's we be clear. Humans probably so, got to the Americas earlier than they were given credit. So let's make this clear. Jabari said the oldest Y chromosome was not found in the United States. I didn't put that in his mouth. Look at Jabari looking up like, uh-oh. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I, 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 we could just use a logical argument. If the, if okay. the oldest X chromosome is found where? Where? Where is it? Tell me. You tell me. I'm going to tell you my source. You tell the me oldest yours. Cra you, you're not going to have a source. The oldest X chromosome. <laughs> I'm being polite here. You're not going to have a source. Okay. But you're not going to have a source. Okay. When, you, when you look at the oldest X chromosomes, you're mm -hmm. going to see that the X chromosomes of all of humanity, can, this is what we call sometimes mitochondrial DNA, can be taken back to a woman that lived in Africa around 200,000 years ago. Um, but, I mean, just use a logical argument because we're humans, right? We know that women don't yeah. create children by themselves. Right, right, right. So obviously, if the oldest X chromosome is in Africa, it is impossible, unless you were <laughs> saying she was taking a plane from Africa and having sex with a man in the Americas. She had to have a mate for her, for her DNA. 
we'll yeah. get back to that because I like that discussion. But did you hear what I said? I just want you to make a logical argument for a second. No, I got you. Because if the oldest X chromosome is in Africa, she didn't, she wasn't uh, like given, even if she had an egg, your phone's going to drop. Don't do that. Because if it falls and it breaks, I'm going to be angry. It's going to hurt me. Um, I mean, you know, even if she had given birth with an egg, she would have still had to have a male partner. So yeah, how you, in the world? But you got to explain why is the oldest man as we speak is in America. Okay, you look at right man? Now. What oldest man? What his are you name, referring to? His name to? is Albert Perry. And he was coined the oldest. You talking about the oldest living person? No, his, he's gone. He's, he's this. I don't understand what you're asking. Uh, let me look for Albert Perry. I don't know what you're referring to. Okay, and what is he? What else? <laughs> Albert Perry he has is not. the oldest Y chromosome on the planet, and his descendants carry it. His descendants, they found it through the DNA test. He took a DNA test to try to find his sons. Took a DNA test to try to find a genetic uh, lineage. But that doesn't say that the Y chromosome originates here. That's not what that means. It says it pushed back the timeline of humanity. That's what it says. So it's a. You gotta understand that these are debates that keep look at, changing. Look at your source. I'm, don't let's not do this on camera. No, she's no, gonna. No, no. She's gonna look at your source. No, here's Read the thing. your source. You can't argue a source you never read. You just googled it. No, but I'm you telling just, how you. How you gonna argue? No, but I because because you know what? There's two things. There's two things. There's two things. Yeah. Let me say this one to you. Go I go speed ahead. read, so I read the article. Mm -hmm. You won't even believe I just read that article. He didn't read the article. Did you see me look down? And read the article. No, he did not. Sanada, I, I just told him to Google words. it. He just Googled it. Look, well, I'll show you. I'll, let me show you. you. This is a new you scientist. You have to read the Wait, actual this is, report. I read the abstract. That's the abstract the tells me. That's the scholarship we do over the, here. An, an abstract. Oh. An abstract. <laughs> Queen, tell me what an abstract is. What's an abstract? Why you? It's like a you read the synopsis. You read, an you read abstract the, for a scholarly article tells you what the purpose you read of the, the you article read the is. Report, the science the purpose report. of the article you doesn't say do he is the. Okay, you let me read it. That. I'll read it to you. No, I don't need you to read that. I so need then you, to, you show me your I source. I need you to look at the actual scientific report where they actually compared his Y chromosome to who? Who did they compare the Y Queen. chromosome to? Because you're still Googling. Queen, do you really want to read? You don't want to read this. Read Let's it. not do this on camera. Let's do it. Let's do it. The I'm second, ready. The second paragraph of the read article it. is right, one possible... I, this is not on camera, <laughs> Sonetta. She's going to be angry with Google. me. Google and I'm trying... I'm try First she told me to Google it. Now she's saying it's Google scholarship. I didn't know he was on camera, but now we on camera. You asked me to Google it. I said you could present yeah. your source. You refused. Because I, I thought I thought you knew about the Y chromosome being in America. But I'm trying to but say you don't to you, know. everyone has so a. I just told a, you something new. Every every Shout male. Out to me. Wait I a minute, him Queen. New, Queen. Wait, 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 chromosome. wait, wait. Let me tell you how this works, because it sounds like you're not explaining how DNA works, how chromosomes work. He doesn't hear every, the report. All right, let's get. Sonetta, Sonetta, Sonetta. The oldest. The, we can trace everyone through their, everyone, men and women, because we both have um, Y chromosomes or X chromosomes. We can trace our lineage through our mothers back toward to Africa, right? Everyone on the planet can do this. Yeah, sure. Everyone on the planet can do this. <clears throat> and so we have to understand that if that is the case, and I know you know this is the case as well, Sonetta. It's been well documented for at least the last 40, 30 years. Um, we have to understand, just make a logical argument for a second. She isn't, she isn't like budding. She's actually having intercourse with a man. So there's how no the way man in America. Then? It doesn't. No, that's not what the article says. So let me read the article. Since OK, go we, ahead. Since I can't trust. Go a, ahead. A Tell us your source. And um, sure. OK. And I thought you would actually know about it. You love science. See, I try not to go the science route because this is be, a never-ending debate, but we can do it. Hmm? Are you willing to do a, um, to have How a discussion? How science a never-ending debate? Are you willing to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with Jabari on, on the use, on the stream? Come on, man. <laughs> Today, Come on, man. She saw the blood in the, in the streets when I spoke to Top Cat and she fleeing. No, no, she no. saw the blood no. in the streets. Because you, what you're doing right now is the same thing you do with Top Cats, where you talk to the camera, you don't talk to the person, and then you try to say, look, are you serious? Look what they're doing. Are you serious? But you're not really refuting anything. You're not refuting nothing. Queen, there's nothing so that Top Cat said let's that. Read it. Let's read it. Go ahead. Let's read it. Tell us your source says, first. Um, the same one you just pulled up. Okay. Because you didn't know about it. Tell uh, us the let's source. Talk about Tell because people can't see what I'm looking at. Okay, yes, go ahead. Scientists.com. Yep. Go ahead. And I'm gonna make sure we 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 know that these are multiple sources. I don't want this to make. Oh, go ahead. He's using one thing. No. 
we can also look at the uh, this is answer synergist.org answer you got, you got yahoo news.com so um i'm gonna click on yahoo news.com let's do that one because everyone knows yahoo right i don't think anybody would say they lie the father of all humankind is uh -oh. 340,000 years old dna evidence has revealed that the oldest known common male ancestor is 340,000 years old more than twice as old as previous estimates New scientist reports that the sample comes from a recently deceased man named Alba Perry. After the African-American South Carolina man died, one of his relatives submitted a sample of his DNA to a company called Family Tree DNA for analysis. Check that out. So now wait a minute. Are you telling me that you read and stuff that deb debunks you and you're smiling? How it debunks me? How it debunks me? Okay, okay. Because I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Keep reading. Keep reading. Hold on. No, no. Wait a minute. Because you don't know my source. Uh -oh. So you can't control this narrative. Okay. What's happened is that y'all are sending your DNA to these companies. And they're doing everything but giving you with the truth. Wow. They're looking at your genetic makeup. That's how they found Albert Purry. You all think it's just about ethnicities and percentages. But the reality, that's on the front. That's on the surface level. The under level is that they're looking for more Henrietta Lacks's. They're looking for more people that carry certain rare genetic makeups, okay? That's how they found Albert Perry. Because his sons, not him, his sons did a DNA test. Instead of just getting ethnicity percentages, they say his Y chromosome was something they couldn't detect, right? So they couldn't get him an accurate assessment. But we can keep going. They said what? They couldn't detect his Y chromosome? No. Well, they, they couldn't get an accurate assessment because his Y chromosome was so old. Okay. So it's not in their database. Okay? All right. Let's get, we're going to keep reading. All right. It says, um, all previously compared DNA samples pointed to a common Y ancestor. A, 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 sorry, a common Y chromosome traced back to a man who lived between 60,000 to 140,000 years ago. But Perry's DNA sample broke the trend, not matching up with this common ancestor. Okay? So when you read into the studies, as I would like for uh, you're skipping. Jabari you're, to you're do, you're skipping. You gonna tell me I'm skipping my own source? I'm looking at your and source. And I just taught him this today. Oh goodness! <laughs> I'm looking at her source. He knows. So Sonetta, y'all know he what I'm gonna do. Today. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm you're not gonna, gonna do it. I'm gonna impeach you with your so source. You're say, so you're gonna say it's the transatlantic slave trade. The term. first thing I'm going. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna say to you, you know Queen. You're gonna go the first thing I'm going to say right, to you is yeah. that you're, you're, the way you're reading it, I don't think you understand how chromosomes work. Because I have chromosomes. I told you that everyone on the planet can be traced back to one woman in Africa, right? That's, That's what, what I said, said to you. They also said it, it was So the I want you to Hold understand. On, they also said wait, everyone traced wait, back to a man in Africa wait, and wait, it changed wait. now. Now, that, did not, that article does not say it changed. Okay. That article does not say it changed. It what wasn't that article? Listen, what the article is saying is that now. See, let me explain this really briefly. The woman who actually was on the continent, who was the mother of all of humanity, there were other women living when she was there. Mm -hmm. She wasn't. The, it's not like she was like the first woman. There right. were other women, but the other lineages died out. So what they have discovered with Albert Perry is that one of the DNA strands from a Y chromosome that they thought had ended did not. That's a lie. That You didn't read the source, dude. Don't do that. Please don't do that. This is this is dishonest intellectual. Okay, okay. This okay, is, okay. This is okay. All right, let him read it. Go ahead. Okay. You need to read the you need to read the source. I'm not even exactly report. sure. I'm not even exactly sure how I right, I'm, I'm I'm not sure she understands how chromosomes because work. Because you're you're okay. That's the problem. I'm That's not the problem. understanding this? No, I don't think you're understanding how chromosomes work. I don't think you understand how it works. They Respect, literally, respectfully. They literally, okay, no, respectfully. Because that article is not saying his y the chromosome to article. Other men that yes. were supposed to have that Y chromosome, and they could not find a match. What happened, Queen, is that essentially. What we're able to do as we get more sources is that we're sometimes able to say, oh, we thought that this line died. It did not. 
There is someone that is a descendant that has this line. That's not what they're saying. That is what the article says. And I don't understand. She read it and she don't understand what she's reading. She read it. Can you read, can you read where it says that? Does the article, let me, let me first ask the audience and you, first, let me first ask the, let me first ask the audience, let me first ask the audience whether the article says what she says it does. Because what she is saying is that because this is a man in the United States, that perhaps all of humanity started here. Did that article say that to you? No, it does not. No, it does not. So first off, I want you to acknowledge that I'm going down this rabbit hole, but we almost need not. Because the article that she presented does not meet her needs. Yes, That's the does. first thing you have yes, to do. It I think it's second it. of all, second of all, <laughs> second of all, I want you to understand. Uh -huh. First, second of all, I want you to understand that. Mm -hmm. The logical argument that we should make, if you understand how DNA and chromosomal um, lineage works, you have to understand that what is being said doesn't fit. Because you have to know that if there's a woman, there's a man, if her line exists. So because that? women don't just create children by themselves. You have children. Okay. So where is the woman? I do not. Why am I telling so how this the works? the oldest man is in America. He's not the oldest man. <laughs> what the art Listen, what the hold article hold on, is Jabari, saying. Hold on. What Jabari is telling you, sir, just think about it for one minute. Okay. He can't be the oldest man oh. because even he would have a father. Even he would have and a mother. And even she would have a mother, right? Yes. Right. So That's if the oldest I, I get what he's saying, but if, if he's the oldest man he's, Okay, let's let's paint this. You're talking about the oldest man that they found. He's not the oldest no, man. No, no, no. They said of all humankind. Oh no, that can't. Oh. But that can't. that's my. But that's what the science. The same scientists that make your DNA test, they're the ones that's saying it. So what so they're saying. Okay, hold on, hold on. This that's is what. No, is. that's not what, what they're saying. No, I'm saying what I know. Saying is, so I know. Oh, my bad, careful, my bad. careful, careful. He's let's read okay? this. Let's read this real quick. You read it for me. No, what does that say? What does it say? Right, read it. it <laughs> read it. It does not say what she's saying. Okay. That's because she's not familiar all with how chromosomes work. All humankind is what? 340,000 years old. Is Albert Perry 340,000 years old? No. His Y chromosome. No. Yes, his Y chromosome is. But you're not understanding how the chromosomes work. Oh, okay. What they're saying. So where's I, the mother? Wait, so where's just, his can mother? Can you just let me explain I get, it? I get Please it, let me understand. Well, they didn't, they're, not, they're not reporting on his X chromosome. But I want you to understand That's the that. Question. What do you mean? That's what do you say? If if he's no, the no, oldest sis, man, sis, she's sis, not sis, understanding sis, the article. She's sis, not sis, understanding sis, the article. No. It says DNA has revealed that the oldest known common male ancestor. Yes. No. No, his ancestor. So no. they thought well, that his did. line really died did. out. It did not die out. Listen, listen, listen right. to listen to what I'm saying. You you gotta understand. <laughs> I, I understand get no, I get what you're saying, right? Because it's the same thing that's happening with West Africans, right? Where they're saying that certain West African tribes have ghost DNA, right? They're saying that there could be another species of hominins or whatever that made up these people because they now can't detect this other side of West, certain West African tribes. Did you know about that? No, he did not. Of course I read about that. It doesn't fit in this conversation. <laughs> I, I don't even want to go no, down yes, there it does, yet. It we're, doesn't... Talking, we're talking about things that were once deemed as either extinct or unknown. And they're coming out in these DNA testing that you all are participating in, right? What do you know about the ghost DNA in West Africans without Googling? No, Queen, Queen, we're not talking about ghost DNA. We're talking about it's Albert about, Perry. It's about species that were and that you're also extinct. not And you're also you not going to ask me this. You are the one oh, that has so to defend your article. You have to defend your article, Queen. I can't ask you questions now, honey. You were, she was answering a question and she just flipped it on me. You, you didn't, but you didn't even <laughs> That's let me pretty answer. slick. You didn't even let me answer. I, you're the one talking. I'm looking at the phone. I'm about to text my wife. You were talking. I just said, <laughs> if the Y chromosome is found here in America, right? They compared it to the other men on the planet that were deemed to also may have this ancestor. But he has a very distinct lineage, which coins him and his descendants the oldest of humankind, right? So now let's, you just said, okay, that's probably because that's from a lineage of, or a, 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 a set of a, a, a Y chromosome that was deemed extinct, but they were never really extinct, they're still here. Okay. Right. So let's talk about that with the West African ghost DNA, right? Now they're saying it's an unknown 
set of species. Okay, so let's bring that source up. Because I'm the only one that seems to bring up sources on this. I can't even believe she said that. I'm the only one bringing up sources. You don't want me to pull sources. You don't want me to pull sources. We can. Because it's interesting to me also okay. that the person that well, doesn't, wait a minute, it's also that interesting to me that the person that refuses to get a DNA test is telling me about DNA. Uh, but, but see, that's why I said if we play the D, I could play the DNA game all day with science. It's not a game, dear. I could play it all day. It's I not said, a game, let me, sweetie. Let me tell you how, it isn't. Let me tell you how I got into the information, how I even oh, yeah. met somebody like a Top Cats, right? I was studying ancient American history. That's how I got into this. So you naturally get into the side of studying bones and the artifacts and them finding all these different things and debunking the Baron Strait theory. That's been debunked a long time ago. So when you get into this realm, you kind of fall into this de debate about science. I debated Rob Owen about science. Ask Rob Owen. I was about to say. I debated Rob Owen. I was about all right, family, listen up. If y'all want to see the full interview, it's still about, let me see, um, about 40 minutes left. God damn, I ain't know we went that long. Um, y'all could go on over to Black News 102. Right now, I want to bring in Shanjo. Let's bring in Shanjo. And uh, I'm waiting on Brother you? Jabari to come on in here. Peace and Black Power, Shanjo. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How you doing tonight? Sunday? I'm good. I'm good. How do you feel that um you did with the interview? I think it was I think you did all right. I think you did I, all right. Yeah, I think I think it was beautiful. Um I think I got my mission across to uh wake up those are uh, the people that have the bloodlines like I do to come back into our rightful power. So I, I think I did what I had to do to let them know the importance of genealogy. Mm -hmm. And in this time period uh, you know, a lot has happened that Roe versus Wade been overturned. A lot of people are starting to feel a reckoning in this country. So, you know, uh, I Let think. Let me ask you, do you yeah. feel now? Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Yeah, and I yeah. hope you say yes to this question because um, it only shows growth. Have you learned anything from Brother Jabari after that discussion? Um. I learned that Jabari's a very, he's a, he's, let me say this. He's a very cool person. I, I did enjoy talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you guys. learned any knowledge or anything from <laughs> brother Jabari? Um, Come on, please answer <laughs> right. I would say that, you know what, if, if I learned something, you know, y'all, y'all held my feet to the fire, right? Uh -huh. So I, you, you taught me that. Hold and I'm gonna say you stayed in there. You didn't run. You didn't run. You stayed there. So I, I would give you, um, I would give you a seven for that, for not being afraid. You stood your ground. You know, right. and you stood your ground. So Jabari, yeah, let me ask yeah. brother Jabari. Brother Jabari, have you learned anything from the sister? I think that um, I certainly understand that she takes her um, the heritage that she's describing very seriously. I enjoyed talking with her. Um, I think there were some things that we could have talked about that might have been a little bit more strident. I was try I was really not trying to argue with her. <laughs> I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I really wasn't. And I think that um, she knows that after we filmed, I showed her some things that. I didn't put up on the screen because I was really, I didn't want her to really just get really upset. So, um, have you sent her anything after the interview? Cause I know you said you was going to send her no, something. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I've been too busy. Okay. But, um, you know, the original article that she was referring to is one that everyone should look at, particularly the one on Albert Perry. Um, you yeah. should look at it, read it. So you get so, an what it is. Yeah. So let's talk about that for a minute, sister. Now, when I say, yeah. have you learned anything? Yeah. I was at least expecting you to say, well, you know what? The the article I read on Albert Perry, yeah, that was, um, Jabari was correct. Because that only shows growth. We can't well, be right in everything we do or say. Well, well, that's fine. But like I said, I have another article. Uh, uh -oh. you gotta, here's, the, here's the thing. That's why don't why you share that. your screen? You want to share your screen? Can I? Can, I'm on a cell phone. Can I? Sure. It's okay. a little harder when you're on a cell phone, but you can share yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let me see. Let me see if I can try to do it. Because if you don't, I have the article pulled up. It's 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 ready. I'm gonna get I'm gonna see. Let me see if I can give you this this article that I have here. I've, yeah, I give have it quite, to Jabari. Here, here pull it up. Here, pull it up. Is it on the same topic on, on Albert Perry? Yes. Okay. yes. Let me see if I can find 
Ooh, I gotta, I gotta try to find you the, give me the link, huh? But what? Or I can read it because I have a screenshot of it. Yeah, you can read it. You can read it. Okay, so let me read this part. This is actually from another uh, website. It says eventually they found eleven similar ones, all from a particular small village in Cameroon. That could mean that the most recent common ancestors of all human males came from that region, or that later descendants migrated there. So this is this is what I was talking about when I was saying that they're still trying to theorize how did Albert Perry get to Cameroon, and what we call Cameroon today. That is still a colonial you know, terminology and colonial borders that created that area. But it has been speculated that he might have migrated to Cameroon. Those okay. 11 men as well. They, that, that's not saying they're from there, right? So this, like, we, when we look at the bones for even like Lucy, they even found bones in Morocco. No one ever looks at, is there a migration pattern? Did these people migrate to the area? What do you think about that, Jabbar? You tell me, honestly. Well, well, Queen, I think you're, the argument you're making is that perhaps um, the, the, the people that you would consider the Indians in the Americas actually developed independently. Like they had their own origin. And that article that you put forward rebuts that. It rebuts it. The, and I, I don't think you're saying that Albert Perry migrated to Cameroon. In fact, the article even describes the fact that the reason why they may have found this DNA, um, this Y chromosome that they thought might have been extinct, is likely because they don't have as many um, uh, DNA uh, uh, um, pools to review in Africa. And because so many African Americans have actually gotten their DNA tested, clearly because we're trying to connect ourselves back to the continent mostly, that's the reason why we see it. You know, I, I, I want you to just not just also read articles about the actual article, because I, I, I can show you the, the literal report that's been done. Right. Um, and, and that's why I um, that's why I invited you to do the, uh, to even know about Albert Perry, because before we even spoke, <laughs> you did not know about Albert Perry. But, you know, but and, I, and his his Y chromosome is very controversial right now. Right. I, so that's where that's where it started to it did push human timeline backward. But I feel that I feel the best way to do this this conversation is to just present our sources on our end, and then you present your sources on your end, Jabari, and then that way we can come to the conclusion where is Albert Perry really from? No. Because right now, as as it stands, it does not say he is Cameroonian. Because what is a Cameroonian? What is that? That that's a colonial term. What is no, that? No, 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 no. Right. No. What they would say is that he has lineage that leads back to the people that are presently in Cameroon. I think, you know, right. it's probably helpful for us to just show you the article itself, okay? Um, so that we can sort of put this to rest finally. So we're no longer... Um, no, no, we don't have to put it to rest. Like I said, we can actually do already, a full presentation where I can put up. up the sources that they are showing you that is a possible migration that came into West Africa. Migration from came what? there. What are you suggesting? A migration from where? You're saying that he migrated from the Americas to West Africa? Is no, no, I didn't. I didn't say that. I just no, said that uh, I'm, he, I'm, I'm, he I'm, migrated I'm, because that was also why I brought to you in the interview about the ghost DNA of certain West African tribes, right? Because there is a missing link from that area that they're not finding in West Africa. So where is the missing link? I didn't say that the missing link had to be in America, but where is the missing link if all life started in Africa? But, but, but Queen, I think the argument you're making is perhaps that um, life didn't simply begin in Africa, that perhaps the argument you're making, and I think everyone hears it, is that perhaps life started in the Americas. And the article that you put forward, you're telling me I didn't know about Albert Perry. But the thing that's funny is it, I didn't need to know Albert Perry because you the source, did. <laughs> no, because the source that hey, Jabari, me. I think I think me and you, Jabari, we missed something when she read that article. Can you do this real quick, Jabari? Read Brother. that article again that we said that we had on Albert Perry. Brother, Please, I'm gonna show you something. Just read that. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a few things. I'm gonna show and, you. A few and, and, and then These you are... have to also explain what I just read from my other source about why are they saying 
I, that his descendants and them could have migrated to Cameroon. Right, but they're not suggesting they migrated from another continent. They're not suggesting they migrated from anywhere. They're just saying that they were not originally from there. That's what they're saying. No, they're saying that they're not sure if they were originally from there. Right. Anyway, That's why I said okay. it's controversial about his so, Y chromosome because so they're still, so they're so, still, hold on, hold on. They're still trying to find out what is the origins of Albert Perry. You cannot just say it's Cameroon. What is a Cameroonian? That's like saying it's a Jamaican. What's a Jamaican? These are colonial terms, but, right? You but, have to and, narrow it down to the people, I mean, the tribe. They, they didn't Where, say they didn't say he was Cameroonian. They're saying that the DNA that they found matches up with eleven men who all lived in Cameroon. That's what they're right. saying. Right, but all the all these so eleven men do, do they are they coming from the same tribe? Where are these eleven men from? Where are they what, from? I mean, I, I, but I, we could we could search that, but it still doesn't help your argument. Let me let me just show you a few things really quickly, okay? Right, this it's is, not an argument. It's just it's just a question to ask. I don't mean because, argument because, because you as don't as know as, wait, you wait, don't wait, know wait. any more than I know about Albert Curry, I'm, and I'm I not, know that I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I think I do know a little bit more because I've read the scholarly article. And I, don't <laughs> I do. But, Jabari, but, Jabari, stop for one minute, man. This wait. is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm out to do it, Sonetta. No, I'm you're gonna do it. I'm gonna let you do it. Yeah, we can do. We can do. I told Jabari. Hold on, hold on for one minute, sister. Sister. What you we don't, don't under to, we don't have to do a quick a quick analysis like all right Let's do a Sis, presentation. hold on for a minute hold okay, on ahead, brother ahead. jabari yes who are the cameroon people that sonetta don't go on that road no 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 i'm asking you something <laughs> who are they who are they no no but uh, see i i want to make this is a tight argument hey that, jabari can you please just answer me for a minute you don't know where i'm going who are the cameroon people who are they? Well, Cameroon is a place in West Africa. Um, and you don't get it? You don't get it, Jabari? That kills her argument, bro. He doesn't no, know. Uh -uh, so He's no. supposed that to be proving the that, that the Indians were here first. That's what I'm telling you. No, and no, she's talking no, about no. the Y chromosome. No, so no, who's no, the no, oldest no. chromosome no, out no, there? No, no. Sonetta, so, yeah, don't say Jabari. Don't say Jabari. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You tried to sign that. You tried to save Jabari. Jabari wait, couldn't wait, even wait. answer what's a camera. First of all, not saying to me. Sonetta wasn't listening. I just said that four times already tonight. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Listen, like, what, hey, I, what tribe? Hey, hey, Jabari, what wait, tribe? What tribe? Were those, what on. tribe were they? What, what oh, tribe wait, were they from? Wait, I just want to know. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, first of all. I want you to see, this is the first article she pulled up from Yahoo News. She said Yahoo yeah. is respectful, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So I want the family to see what she was reading, right? When yeah. you read, yeah. first of all, it tells you where the article is. It's in the journal, American Journal of Human Genetics. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But I think that it's very interesting that the article that she read right off the bat says, after the initial tests on Perry's DNA, geneticists at the University of Arizona conducted further tests to confirm the anomaly. The Y chromosome in Perry's test matched up with those of 11 men who all lived in one village in Cameroon. Mm, damn. So that is, that's the part that she yeah, didn't that, I mean, that's fine. That, but, that, but let's but go. That oh, wait, explain, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done yet. I'm not on, done. That does not, not explain done. where not the done. Cameroonian I'm men are I'm from. Not done. They you migrated can, there. You got to tell on, me where they migrated hold, from, hold honey. On, hold on. I'm not finished. I want you to look at, this is the article from the Medical Journal of Human Genetics. This is the this is actually the scholarly article. And I know she didn't read it. The reason why I know she didn't read it is because she tried to like call me a Pan-African like it was an insult, right? And I thought that was really funny. I, I, she called me a Pan-African. She's like, I mean, that's what you are. You're a Pan-African. nothing wrong with that. If she had said that, she wouldn't have brought this article up because one of the things that it describes is the fact that when they were trying to figure out more about um, this man, what did they look at? They looked at, we genotype a set of six Y chromosomes, short tandem repeats. I'm not gonna read the numbers because they won't make sense. Upon searching a large pan-African database. What is that? What, and what did you and what did you tell me off camera? Forty-eight samples. What did you tell me off camera Sissy, about a pan-African database? How finish. many countries is inside? You have to let me finish. I'm reading it. For the, consisting of five thousand six hundred forty-eight samples from ten countries. 
And how shoot, many countries? Excuse me, Cameroon, how many, excuse me I'm sorry. Nigeria. How many Hold on. I'm reading it for everyone. <laughs> Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, Uganda, Tanzania, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and South Sudan. So this is where they found it. And I think it's so interesting that okay. um, she tried to insult me with the term Pan-African, but- I did not. But yes, are, you gonna did. Let, are you gonna let me go now? You all saw that. Are you gonna let me, are you gonna let me go now? <laughs> um, no, I'm not, not quite yet. I'll be finished, oh, in, a oh, okay. I'll be finished in a quick minute. I promise, I promise. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too long. But I also want you to look here. This article tells us um, where, why they found it here, okay. right? They believe it's a, the same divergent lineage in a single ethnic group. By the way, this is the question you were asking. The article answers it. That's why I know you didn't read it. Okay, you so can you let, okay, it, okay. Are, are we having, are I'm we gonna let you, I'm, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna let you go, hold okay, on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Living in a small region of Western Cameroon. By the way, they even show you where they are and they tell you what people they That's are. That's fine. That's fine. That's how I know you didn't read the article. Okay. I no, no, no. Because Listen, I don't care. Here's the thing. Here's I'm the thing, Jabari. Yet. I'm Jabari, not hold finished. on. Hold no, I'm no, no. Jabari. Jabari, I'm gonna be remember, and remember then the conversation know. that we had. We can it's you, okay to have a conversation. I'm gonna I'm I don't gonna, hold on. I'm gonna ask you one question though. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna ask you one you question. Ask a question. Let me explain. Can it. I ask you? Can I ask you just one question, Jabari? Just one you question. question. It's in the middle of what I'm saying. Hold on. So okay. I want you to understand. This is why they're saying that they were confused about it. Here's the okay. article here. The large sample size of uh, sample size of African Americans was uh -huh. critical for the discovery of the A00 lineage. Okay. It's very low frequency estimate in Sub-Saharan Africa. However, okay. even the large consumer-based African-American data set examined here is a highly biased representation of sub-Saharan Africans because it captures only the genetic diversity inherited from ancestors, ancestors living at a particular okay. time and place. Essentially, the West African coastal source area of okay. the Atlantic, wait a minute, of the Atlantic slave trade. So they're okay. telling you how they believe he got the DNA. That's belief. That's called belief. That's called belief. Oh okay, goodness. okay, okay. So let me, okay. You let go ahead. Do, okay, let go me ahead, just ask ahead. you. Let me just ask you a simple question, right? Ask the when question. did when did people start migrating into Cameroon? Uh, uh, you know, listen. I think that you might be asking a question that's irrelevant for this. No, 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 Jabari. I asked a very simple question. When you, did we hold on? When did people, based upon what you understand about evolution? When did people start migrating into Cameroon? I I don't even know if I can give you a clear answer because my understanding of Cameroon, because mm -hmm. it exists on the on the um on the Atlantic Ocean side, is that there have been so, there have been a large number of migrations. But I think that okay. what we can probably say, and this is just based on our understanding of human uh, uh -huh. migration patterns. I think that we can probably say that they were moving. Uh huh. I guess this is probably around maybe uh, two hundred thousand years, someplace around okay. there. Someplace okay. around there. And and yes, I can okay. give you a more precise estimate. I'd have to look at some of the things that I have in okay. in my in my um. So in, so, in my so you're you're more so under the you you study more so under the um out of Africa theory, right? Queen. Right, you believe in outer Africa theory. Not that, that I study under the outer Africa theory. It's almost like you're saying, you know, I'm I'm in a particular group, so that's what I study. I look at all of the science. Okay. If there's something that that doesn't well, seem. Well, I'm saying fit. this: do Do you believe that human life started here and then they migrated out to everywhere else? You're under that understanding, right? I think that that is a scientific fact at this point. Okay, so because if, we're if, not just if, looking. So you're for... saying that life started now in Cameroon? No. No. So where did so where did life no. start then? Life the the best argument we have right now, based on all of the DNA studies, is that life probably started in about I'd call it southeast, um, south the southern eastern area of the continent of Africa, based okay. on the DNA studies that we've seen. Okay, based upon southeastern Africa. I can show Africa. you a so, migration. I can show you a okay. migration map if you okay, like. Okay, that okay, sure. Southeastern Africa. So I'm gonna ask one more time. When did they get into Cameroon? Queen, 
the, the it wasn't like you're making it sound like there's like one group of people that went into Cameroon. Well, well, it is one group of people because no. remember, hold on, hold on. Remember, Albert Perry is a zero. He's a zero. No, the lineage is a zero zero. The the name. No, of no, 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 no. He's his own lineage. No, the how eleven be, men. Hold on, hold on. Lineage. Okay, okay. How could he be his own lineage? Because because he's the father. Those eleven Cameroonian men are not the father. Mm. He's hold on. Listen, listen, listen to. That's why I said when you read these articles and even the scientific reports, they're theorizing how this came about. Because remember, it has to fit the out of Africa theory. I we understand that. I get it. But what I'm telling you is, how is he the father, but he matched with 11 other men? Wouldn't they be the fathers of, of all, humankind? Need, all, that means that he has a particular lineage. And if you read that article, it says his lineage branched out, right? You, right? You, let's, you let's, let's, just, let's just walk it down. Listen, that we can listen, walk wait, it down, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. This hold is on, hold on. He has a unique lineage. Go ahead and finish and I'll stop. Okay. He has a unique lineage that pushed humanity back. Those 11 Cameroonian men did not push humanity back. His lineage pushed the, the whole evolution theory out of whack because now it doesn't make sense. Now it predates even what they said, people started migrating out of Africa now. It pushes everything back now. So that means they will even push back the Baron Strait theory, right? So now I'm gonna ask one more, one more time. When did people start migrating into Cameroon? Because me, if life started in Southeast I, Southeast Africa, you got to tell me now, when did they get into Cameroon? Because the article tells you that they could have migrated into the region of Cameroon. So they're, they're not ruling that off the table. And you just admitted that life did not start in Cameroon. So when did he get to Cameroon? And can you prove that he's from Southeast Africa? I want you to hear this. I okay, want you to I think you're not understanding the article. And and I'm not trying to be res, I'm, So I'm you're not going to answer my question. I'm going to answer it comprehensively. No, 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 no. I just I like I like clear answers. I, you see you see when you dance around the question I said four you words. Don't, you you don't answer cuz the problem listen, is that you have yet to really answer the question. Four, you have to listen. You Go ask ahead. a question. And it's not a simple question. Okay. But I don't think you understand how this works. The okay. reason why you have this idea in his head that in your head that he's the father is because you read a, a public article. No, I did not. Yes, you did. You that I, is, listen, he, he has his own to, lineage. Wait, There's wait. A O I let and then you he's, finish. Is, I let okay, you go finish. Ahead. Go ahead, honey. You finish. You're all over this. Calm down. Wait a minute. The Yahoo article calls him the father. That's a really poor title. I showed you the actual. It's not a poor title. The, the Wait, thing you, that you, have brought to, up. you have to stop. You have to stop. You have okay. to stop. I Go showed ahead. you the scholarly article that the Yahoo article is based on. He's not a uh -huh. father of anything. I showed you that. The only thing. No, you never. You never read the scholarly <laughs> you article. You Googled it right next to me. You, I did <laughs> Google it, but you never read the article. I did what you were supposed to do. Come on, Jabari. I did what you were supposed to do. Oh, wait a I minute. showed let you me, the scientific me article. Let me finish. Let me finish. And I showed you the report. Go ahead. Go ahead, though. Is she going to let me finish? I'm mute. I'm mute. I'm sorry. You got to say something. You got to say something, brother. You're sitting there and she's not letting me speak. Okay. This is what occurred. Based on all of the data we have, DNA studies, um, uh, artifacts based on early antecedents of modern humans, we can now make a pretty good argument that humanity started in Southeast Africa. It migrated from there, even on the continent of Africa. And there are dates for those migrations. I could show you more definitive dates. But what I want you to understand is they are not saying that his DNA, this is, she's trying to throw a lot of stuff on the wall, but I want you to understand that this article is saying that this man's lineage is in Africa. It's not even an article she should have brought up. And now she's trying to put up a lot of a lot of smoke. I want you to see the fire. The article states that he is from Africa. 
his lineage is from Africa, and it does not say that he has a separate lineage. In fact, this is why they mentioned the 11 men from Cameroon. They're saying when they looked at his DNA, they said, wow, we haven't seen this, this Y chromosome. It's very old. And then what they did is they looked back and they said, oh, we can find it. Now that we look at a Pan-African database, we see 11 men in Cameroon of the same Umbo people that have that DNA. That doesn't mean that he um, left, that his family left Cameroon either. It probably means that it did, but that's not what it means. That's not necessarily what it means. And it doesn't say, it doesn't destroy every single understanding of how people got to places around the world. Because if if they found Albert, if Albert Perry's family had never been taken in the transatlantic slave trade and they were doing similar studies on the continent, they would have likely found the same um, uh, uh, DNA, the same uh, Y chromosome. That's why they're able to find it on men okay, okay. who are not, I'm not finished. So, so let me, not, okay, go I'm ahead. not finished, who were not taken in the transatlantic enslavement trade in Cameroon. So I want you to understand that's what the article says. It does okay. not call him the father of anything. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Only, and, Jabari. Only, I'm not, hold okay. on. I All wanna, right. You put a lot out there and I want to tie it together so people understand. I can't even it's get an answer to my question. Like he's preaching right now. I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. Basically what um, it's explaining to us is that there are the, the pools of African-American DNA that they've been able to study are much richer than those that they've studied on the continent. That's what it's saying. And they're saying if they hadn't found his Y chromosome, they wouldn't have looked elsewhere. But when they looked elsewhere, they see where it came from. It came that it, it is shared by men in Cameroon. OK. He's not, he's all, not right, over, all right. All right. All right. Wait a minute. Can I hop in there? N not yet. I'm almost <laughs> done. You keep interrupting and it goes longer. He's not older than them. They didn't say he was older than them. His D his chromosome is not older than theirs. They share the same Y chromosome. Okay, so can I say something now? Go My ahead. Goodness. Go okay. ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. What? Okay, let me ask this first question. Okay. <laughs> when did when did Albert Perry's ancestors get to South Carolina? I don't know that. And, and I, I know you don't know that. So let me ask you one more else question. <laughs> what proof do you have that Albert Perry was a slave? Oh. <laughs> Queen. The no, 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 no. This is a very, it's very serious question. You know why I'm asking this question? Because you got to understand this. This is what I'm saying. You got your just like the just like this article. And I, one thing I understand about these different things is that they're coming from a train of thought. Oh. Right. As you are as well. Right. But when I ask very critical, detailed questions, you nor the article can really answer the question. And the question is, when did his ancestors get to South Carolina? See, you guys are going under the belief. Oh, he had to come through the translate slave trade. Prove it. Can you prove it to me, Jabari, that he came through the translated slave trade? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me say this to you. I want you to understand that this man. I know he was you, born in the 20th uh, century, not, my guy. Are you, if you're not, I'm not finished, no, I'm, talking, I'm talking to the comment on the screen. I know okay, that. I want to know. Me to talk is, to is, a commenter on the screen. Yeah, the yeah. Queen? Because because Sarnetta, Sarnetta, you putting the comments up. You slick. But Jabari, no, go ahead and find out when his ancestors came to South Carolina. I want to see. Listen, first of all, you have to understand that when we look at um, his DNA, they're able to trace it to the continent of Africa. I asked you simple so, I'm questions. I'm not finished. I am it. not finished. I'm not finished. You have to stop. 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 <laughs> stop. You have to you, listen. If this is going to be a conversation, we should have a conversation. But if you're going to continue to interrupt, it's impossible for anyone to understand what's happening. I let you finish. You got to let him finish, Sancho. He's not, he, he's not answering the question. And then so, you can speak. So listen. So listen. So first of all, the first piece is that he's connected to the continent of Africa. The second part of this conversation is the fact that um, we know that 
He is in a place that had a high percentage of people who were enslaved. And the third part that should be the dead ringer that I don't know why you don't get it is that his last name is Perry. Perry is a British surname. Perry is a British surname. Okay. So if we're able to draw his lineage back to people in Cameroon, they don't have the last name. Okay, can I? Um, no, no, I'm not. I I'm, not I'm not finished yet. You asked me, what proof do we have that he was enslaved? I so asked you, when did his I'm ancestors get the, to South Carolina? Listen, listen, Simple listen. question. You asked, me, you asked me, when do, how do we know that he was enslaved? That's what you asked me. So you go, are you, are you serious so, right now? So a last I'm, name? I'm, I'm serious as a heart attack. That's what you, I'm answering <laughs> your question. So if you look here, look at the where the um the, the names come from. They're two similar um surnames. One is Welsh, which is Parry. Jabari, you are a black European. Yes, You're Scottish. I'm you were not, not a slave. So what does that mean? I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. And Sonetta, you got to stop getting up, brother. Because it is your responsibility to moderate this conversation. So as you look at this, the name Perry is an English name. And so how should we understand that an African-American man in South Carolina has a British name, yet we can draw his lineage back to Cameroon? I, I can, I can. Very okay. clearly we understand okay. that this is the product of the um that's of the very, transatlantic that, enslavement trade. Okay. And and okay, I don't okay. know, I'm not even sure how you can um uh, argue anything <laughs> else. I can even show you, for example, take a look at this. Let me show you this. I can even show you here goes the British enslaver with the name Perry. Here he is. Look at this. This is from the Center for the Study of Legacies of British Slavery. And here we see the honorable John Perry. Okay, he can went, I? No, went, no, 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 no. All the way over. Bro, we, we're not going to do this quick Google. Did you do this quick Google thing every time over. I talk. Jabari. Queen. 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 You have to stop. You are interrupting. How, how long does it take you to answer questions, though? You know, you know one of the reasons why you asked me, uh, you know what? One of the things that happens on Sun Editor sometimes is people ask complex, complex questions and expect simple answers. You it's, it's a me, simple question, bro. You ask sister, me, sister, is one mic for a reason. Is one mic. You keep cutting Jabari off. He's I mean, not cutting you off. No. You got to let him speak, me, and then we're going to get... You got the floor. You're going to speak as long as you want. You asked me, how do we know that he it was a product of the transatlantic enslavement trade? So, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't think that there's any other way for us to get it. His name is British. Right, his last okay. name is British, and we see his lineage on the continent of Africa. I'm even showing you um, the Perry, the the slave owner from Britain, that was um, a, a very, very pl pl uh, prolific slave okay. owner. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You still answer my question. Oh. When did his ancestors get to South Carolina? How about, because I know that this is a situation where um, you are trying to ask a lot of questions. All right. And I'm answering you. And as soon as right, I answer, then you interrupt. Why don't you make your case and then we'll discuss it? Because you you ask me a question, then you can interrupt. Right, Go All ahead right, and bro. make your case. Make your case. Okay, I'm going to make, make my case. And Go then, ahead. Like I said, we, we'll just do a presentation together. Okay. And then and then maybe it'd be easier to, to communicate. You know what I'm saying? Ma okay. Maybe that's the problem that's happening on my end. So I'm a I'm a step back as a woman and say, yeah, I apologize, right? But in this case right here, you, you don't know when he really got to South Carolina. One thing we have to understand about South Carolina, South Carolina has always been a predominantly so-called black state. Always has been, always will be. I got family from Berkeley County, right? You can't mention South Carolina without missing the, uh, mentioning the Goose Creek men, which were black so-called colonizers that came in from Barbados. And guess what? They had British names too, right? So when you're coming into South Carolina region, you can't spin that narrative like that because you don't know if it was his family owning the slaves. You don't know which way this history really could have went. So that's why I asked you, 
How are you so sure that he came through the translated slave trade underneath the boat? And all that, the fact that he was not driving that boat. You can't prove it. Just like you can't prove the fact that when Cameroonians actually got the Cameroonian, you honestly don't know just like they don't know. And therefore, that's why we theorizing. Period, Jabari. And I like it when people just say they don't know. Instead of being defined. But one thing we do know is that Mr. Perry was found in South Carolina. Henrietta Lacks was found right here in the United States as well. They found them here. They didn't find them. Hey, hold on, there. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, sister. God damn. Hold hey, brother Jabari. What's up? Brother Jabari. Hey, hey, Morpheus, drop that link again. Drop the link again, please. Jabari, click on the link that Morpheus put in the chat. Morpheus, please, and sister, this is for you to grow. Not that we beating you up. I'm trying to tell you something. Hold on, hold on. You're beating me up, bro. All right. Neither one of y'all have answered any of my questions. You're about to get an answer right now. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Somebody has to help you get an answer? You may not like the answer. Ain't nobody helping me get answers, but y'all got people that are sending y'all links. Sister, it don't matter who. If somebody was to throw a link in. I'm going to check y'all out. We're going to do a presentation. Hold on. If somebody want to throw a link in to help you, it's about growing. It's not about, you know, it's no, all about no, no. growing. We're going to do a presentation so, to prove more, They're going to link, slaves. Jabari. Click that link, please. She said, how do you prove that Albert Perry was in slavery? He was born into, uh, into slavery, sis. Oh, so now he was born in slavery in the 20th century? Got you. We're going to do that presentation, and we're going to actually get this going. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, Donetta, I thank you for everything. Uh, <laughs> no, Fight don't two. run. Don't Fight run. Two, Jabari. Don't run. <laughs> I'm not running. Jabari can't answer no questions, bro. And he's a black European with Scottish lineage. You know, black people have British last names. Stop playing, bro. You know what time it is. Part two presentation. We're going to do that. Thank you again, Sonetta. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, Jabari, do you see the link? Yes, I do. I see. Click the see. link. Share it. Share it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I, I think that Morpheus we, is one of the one of the top um, researchers out here, bro. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I've seen this already. I've looked at. Trust me, after our conversation, I looked at a lot of stuff on 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 Albert Perry. Um, I, I'm just stunned that she is ignoring all of the information that is available. Even the article, the major article that is there, is describing the fact that they believe that. He got his DNA through the transatlantic enslavement trade. The article says that. I already showed the article says that. And when she reads things that she doesn't agree with, she says that it has an agenda. She's looking at DNA. By the way, isn't it ironic that she's trying to talk to us about DNA, yet she won't take a DNA test? How does an aboriginal or an Indian, as she likes to call herself, by the way, it's even bizarre that she's calling herself Indian to me. The only reason why those people in the Americas, the first people are called Indian, is because um, Christopher Columbus thought he was in India. She's calling herself by a mistake that Christopher Columbus made. And the article, the, 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 the um, scholarly article that she's talking about um, actually refers to where it is believed he got his DNA. So I don't, I don't know what else to show you. I mean, this is one of those things where, regardless of what you show, she's going to say it's not an answer. But I think that everyone watching understands that this has been answered. I want, I'm going to show you a few things, including the article that um, that uh, our brother Morpheus just put up. Okay, take a look at this. Here's another way for us to understand what's going on. And I, I almost don't even, I shouldn't even almost have to to do this, but uh, sometimes I feel like what's happening is the folks in some communities, they live to um, confuse, right? I want you to recognize, she said there were a lot of Black people in South Carolina. There always have been. What does that mean? We know when Black folks got to South Carolina. Which U.S. State, you, which US states, this is from World Atlas, by the way, which U.S. states had the most slaves at the start of the Civil War? I want you to look down here. Take a look. Virginia had 490,000. I'm, I'm rounding it off just for the sake of time. 
Georgia had 462,000. Mississippi had 436,000. Alabama had 435,000. And South Carolina had 402,000. One, two, three, four, five. South Carolina was the, the fifth largest slave holding state. She's trying to pretend that they got there and we don't know how they got there. I could give you the names of at least 12 ships who we see who they where they distributed people and we can follow them to South Carolina. This is not hard to do, Sonetta. Then she's trying to say that he has a British name and he's just a black British person. What? Who in the room believes that? Does that make sense to you? I even showed you. I even went as far as to show you the the um the the British slaveholder with the name Perry. And it talks about how prolific a slaveholder he was. This is crazy. I don't even know. I mean, this is this is like silly town. I mean, what am I what am I dealing with here? Here's the article that that um that our brother Morpheus put forward from the conversation. By the way, you should know that the sub the the um slogan for the conversation is academic rigor, journalistic flair. Academic rigor, journalistic flair. Um, and as you read this, it talks about how these human migrations occur. It talks about um, Albert Perry. It may change the story of human origins. Yes, but I want you to read the first sentence. It says, Perry was an African-American born into slavery in South Carolina. Oh. We know very well who he is. I don't know why she's, she's doing this. I don't know why she's, you know, listen. The, the problem here, Sonnetter, is she brought something up. She was refuted based on the article that she did not read. And now she's trying to throw everything up on the wall and see what sticks. How many of you are confused about this? How many of you are confused about this? I, I find that I end up debating things with the Aboriginal community because they often are talking about things that are simply proven or disproven. Someone in the chat said, you know, most of the, the, the um, tribes in Long Island are not 90% black people. I, I'm not gonna even show you what I, what I could show. I mean, I've gone to powwows in Long Island. This, the person that made that comment probably has not. I just, I just don't understand how we're still here, Sonnetter. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a reason why I have these conversations, because trust me, people who care about me are continually saying, Jabari, why are you talking to these confused people? There's two reasons, two major reasons. Well, let's say three. First of all, let's understand that I'm talking to them because if they don't understand who they are, they can't understand what they should do. The solution for the European is different from the solution from the Chinese, which is different for the solution for the continental African, which is somewhat different than the solution for the diet. Hold up, Jabari, but not even that. You are not just talking to the two people on the channel. That's the second talking thing to, say. Yes, they don't understand. There's a lot of people out there that have the same mindset. Yes. And if you don't stop it before it grows, it gets worse. You know what I'm saying? It gets worse yeah. and worse and worse. Yeah. So you got to stop it before right. it moves forward or move That's on right. and be passed down to That's other right. generations. You got to kill that shit. You got to cut that root off. Yeah. And so you're not just talking to one person or two. That's they the don't same. get it that this is an educational program. Now listen, yeah, when, brother. I, when I say it to those people who care about me and see me slapping my head and I, I explain it to them and they go, yeah, I know. But it is, it can be very frustrating sometimes. You know, so I am talking to a broader audience. Listen, when I was the student of Dr. Ben and John Henry Clark and Dr. James Turner, Dr. Clark and James Turner said something to me uh, uh, apart from each other. That was, at first I was a little offended, but later I recognized that what they were saying was a charge. They said, you will not be the scholar on the hill. In other words, they were saying to me, Jabari, your responsibility is to be in the community. And that's why we're investing time and resources into you. So whose responsibility is it? Dr. Char Dr. Um, John Henry Clark and Dr. James Turner, who was still alive, by the way, um, charged me with doing this. 
The third reason is because the numbers of people who are confused are growing. Because one of the challenges we have, Sonnetter, the internet is an amazing thing. When I was a young student at Cornell, if I wanted the answer to a question, I had to put my boots on, my thermals on, my jeans on, my coat on, walk three or four miles across the campus to a library, walk to another campus to a library. Now we have smartphones and the internet. We are able to have access to information that was extremely difficult for me to get when I was a young student. But the other challenge is on that are everyone can put things on the internet. And so if you don't know what you're looking at, if you don't show people how to read things and how to understand things, you could be confused. It's very clear to me, she keeps calling him the father of humanity. It's because that title from the Yahoo article stuck in her head. But even then, it, it, uh, the other articles say the father is 3,000 some odd years old. That's what it's saying. They're not talking about Albert Perry. They're saying his line is one that they thought was extinct. Just to explain this for the family, we've heard a lot about the mitochondrial. Eating. And the crazy thing, Jabari, yes, is they are also in the article debunking a Adam that he was the first man. <laughs> it's crazy. Did you read it? Yeah. And I'm not talking about um, this Perry. I'm talking about his ancestors. Yes. Oh yes. my God, this is crazy right here. It's a good article. The article doesn't help her. Yeah, it's a good article though. I like it. And I know she didn't read it because if she had read it, she would have seen it didn't help her. She just read the Yahoo article and didn't understand what it was saying. But if you read the scholarly article, it lays it out. It's six scholarly journal pages. You have to read the original. And then she wants to say that she taught me something because I was able to um, take a look at, she showed me something I didn't know. Well, there's a lot of things that Jabari doesn't know, but show me something that adds to my information or my knowledge. This article does nothing more than debunk you. That's all it does. I didn't need to know about Albert Perry to, have, to help me understand human civilization and history. Essentially, all she's done is debunk herself. And she's saying, well, we don't know when the people in, in Cameroon migrated there. That, that is an irrelevant question. The point is that no one is arguing, no one is arguing that Albert Perry traveled from um, the, the United States to Africa. Lord Abba, if that's you, turn on your mom um, cam, brother. No one's arguing that. No turn one's on your cam, Lord Abba, if that's you. So I, I don't know why we're we're in this con continued place where we're continuing to be confused. I just want to explain it to you. And there's some folks in the chat that just say ridiculously, ridiculous stuff. Nikki Lane says, Jabari doesn't know how to reference himself in the third person. What? How to not reference himself in the third person. What are you talking about? Queen, please stop. 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 You're trying to say anything. You know, I'm going to tell you, Sonetta, I know you told um, uh, um, uh, Shan Jor, when this was going to show, because I'm telling you, a lot of aboriginals in the chat tonight. <laughs> you know, a lot of the dude named Six Fingers, and a lot. Look at this aboriginal turtle. I mean, look, do you see these names? <laughs> Family, we got a lot of work to do. Shout out to the aboriginals, man. I'm not, oh I'm, we're not here to beat y'all up. Shout Lord, out to all the aboriginals, man. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I'm shouting out all the American Indians. Shout out to you, brothers. Keep doing y'all work. Just study a little more. Peace and black power to my brother, Lord Abba. What's up, Lord Abba? Peace, peace. Can y'all hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Loud first, and clear. First, I want to say to Brother Jabari, man, um, excellent, you know, excellent display of of scholarship. You know, they, I, 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 you got the nickname, the Floyd Mayweather of the conscious community <laughs> that that wasn't a you know obviously it's a it's a, a female so you don't consider it the same as a boxing match but i mean whether it's her legendary chief top cap and i say cap because he's a liar he's always lying um you know you you displayed what common sense and, and scholarship is supposed to be about uh i'm familiar with that sister which she called my name because we've been in spaces together. Yeah. And, you know, she tried to use the steamroller filibuster style of argument, right? Which is what people use when they're wrong and they can't 
answer up for, for their own claim. You know, I was just sitting here and, you know, I'm chilling with my fam right now, man, about to watch some movies and stuff, but I, I wanted to listen in and it's a shame that we've come to the point that we hate ourselves so much that we lie about our own history, right? We speak about, it, and I thought you did a great job because it's something that we say. You have two parents that right. have uh, uh, two parents who have two parents, right? It's a tree that goes up almost like a Fibonacci sequence, right? A, a spiraling out from you as the, as the center point. And these people find one person in their family. What did she say the last name was? Dumpson or Dobson or something like that? No. All, all of these, yeah, all of these European names. Townsend, the Townsend family. Townsend, right? All Like, my thing is this. If you are, and I don't know, Jabari, have you seen when I was on with the guy on Sarnetta, his name was like Big Aboriginal or something yeah. like that. Just cheese. <laughs> Right. So my thing is, these people have retained none of the language, none of the names, none of the customs, none of anything that that's low. Mike, like I said, that's low. Mike, Mike from in, <laughs> low. Mike, Mike from up the block, from from down the way. That's who that is pretending to be an Indian. And, yeah. it, you know, brother, it's a shame that in 2022, we are still victims of such an identity. My daughter, right? I'm one of my twin daughters. I'm going to wrap it up. I'll go pick up one of my twin daughters. So I bring her back to the crib. My other twin daughter come through. So, you know, they sitting there talking because they ain't see each other in the, in the couple. And so one of my twin daughters, the one I picked up, she said, did you see on TikTok? where they said Harriet Tubman doesn't exist. I said, oh my God, I had to explain to my babies. I had to explain to them and they're, they're about, they'll be 16 in a couple of months that that's not true. That comes from this, this pseudo, this clown. And we got to call these people what they are. They're clowns, they're distractions named Dan Calloway. He can't back up any of that nonsense. Legendary top cap can't back up any of that nonsense. And I was kind of disappointed that side didn't let me come on when them clowns was on that time because I would have easily cooked them dudes. And I'll just mute out from here, man. What can I say to you? I, I know, I know that they, by the way, she came in mentioning you. So I already knew that you had already beat them up. I knew you had already beat them up <laughs> because she came in mentioning you. So listen, this is one of those instances where we have to recognize that we're going to have to keep talking to our people. And, you know, I, I didn't, I, I, I'm going to do this. You know, I, I almost didn't. I, I almost didn't. I showed this to, to San Netter. I almost didn't do it, but I'm going to do something, San Netter. I want you to um, share my screen for a second. Our sister Shanjor, you know, I, I, you know, when I, when I talk to someone, what do I do? I research them, right? That's what they're supposed to do. They always say, I know you, Jabari, but then when they start talking, they don't know nothing I've ever said, right? This, she, you know, she has a beauty channel, right? You knew that. You know that she has a beauty channel on YouTube. That's one of the, she has a beauty channel. She has a recipe channel. They look like they're really cool, but I think it's so interesting that she calls herself an Indian, yet in the description for her channel, Queen says, Shanjor is a professional hairstylist entrepreneur who specializes in natural hair care for African-American women. Why didn't she say Indian women? Why didn't she say Native women? <laughs> Good one. Good catch, Brother Jabari. Uh, listen, man. <laughs> this, is, this is like easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. So either, either she's an opportunist or she's not telling us the truth about who she is. That's funny. Either way, it's not good. So I just, I just gotta say to you, brother, that these are these are the challenges that we have. We have to actually try to defend this. We have to try to explain to our people. And and I'm gonna say it again because somebody in the chat is gonna say, "I know that I have Native American in my family." I'm not talking about those people who have mixed parentage, people who have Native Americans who married in. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about those people who are trying to say that we are not people of African descent, that we have been misclassified. That idea is the most ludicrous thing that you can actually find. 
They used to say, where are the slave ships? Until I showed them the slave ships. Notice they don't say it anymore. Notice that even Dane Calloway doesn't say that anymore. Because Dane Calloway is looking at what I'm doing. He is. He won't debate me because he's a coward and he's a charlatan and he's, mis he's misleading our people. I went easy on Shandor. I would not go easy on Dane Calloway. No, don't go I easy on any of them pseudos, not. bro. Chill out. not. Yo, hey, Jabari, let me ask well, you real quick. Well, I'm going to tell you. Hold up, Lord Abba. When you coming on Be The Power, Jabari? Lord, 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 Abba, Lord Abba, Lord Abba, Lord Abba. What's number up? One, number one, I got to take the credit for that. Um, when Sanjor came over, the first thing I told Jabari, I told Jabari to be light on him. I said that. <laughs> I said that. I said, Jabari, please, brother, don't beat her up. Be <laughs> light. <laughs> yeah, that's that. interesting. Me. That's All right, why I so I want you to know that. So I didn't want her to think that she came over to get beat up. Right. What you said in the part that's interesting, that is interesting. Yeah, because when I first came <laughs> in, go back and look at the video of Garfield, I didn't know Sonetta from a can of paint. He said, don't go light on her, Garfield. Beat her up. Get out right. of here. No, I did say that. Get but out. I but I learned uh, I learned a lesson from that. But what I did <laughs> learn too learn? is learn? that that What'd Nepal like? could stand in the goddamn line of fire and take it like that's a woman right. and she banged yeah, back. Yeah. So that's one yeah. of the things that I've learned. And that's, that's why right. I said shout Nepal. Out, shout out, sister Nepal. That's Definitely. why I said to me, Nepal is like, to me, one of the top female debaters and, and, and even debunks a lot of the brothers. A lot Let of the men. And, and, and I, I noticed that a lot of Hebrews are afraid to debate Nepal. Mm. Not just Hebrews. But let me say this first off to my sisters. First off, shout out to the sister for even coming on. It's tough. However, to sisters who say, I want to I want to sit down. I want to tell my information. This is the problem. I'm advocating for sisters. I want you to come in. But you always start crying. You always have to have son or say, please don't beat them up. I can't advocate for you sisters if you start running and crying and calling him after the streams, asking him, don't put up the poll. Why did you let me come on? Can I come on again? We need to know if we're going to come into the big leagues and especially if you're going to sit down with brothers like Jabari, Lord Abba, Reggie, um, I, the list goes on and on. Brother Morpheus. I mean, I'm just off the top of my head. Chris Harris, Zion Lex. These are brothers who keep their faces in books. They keep their faces in books. I'm not saying don't come back. I want you to come back, Sister Shanjor. Uh, Sh Shanjor. How do you say her name? Shanjor? Shanjor? I don't want to mess her name. Shanjor. But don't come in to the big leagues and get upset that your information is correct. When I sit down with Jabari, if I'm wrong, Jabari, you can vouch for me. I will bow down and say, you know what, Jabari? You were right about that. That is a part of your growth and your learning. However, I, I mean, I get it. Everybody can't be uh, like me, but don't come in crying, whining, because I can't sit up here and ask brothers to, you know, I can't be beating on my brothers. Lord Abba just said, oh, well, you know, because you're Mayweather, but she's a woman. That's because we start whining, calling Sodnetter, talking about we didn't get a fair chance. Don't run, come over, put your information down, take a beating like the best of us and keep it moving, right? So that's not why I hit the link only, but I did want to get that out. I did want to get that. Jabari and, and Lord Abba and Son Editor. I want you to talk about, I love what you said about the um, intermarrying and actually black people and Native Americans having a very, very close knit history. Um, could we at least find a common ground? I'm talking to the, the wannabes, the pretendians. Um, can we find a common ground and at least can you acquiesce, acquiesce to the truth that Native Americans and black slaves lived amongst each other? And yeah, I guess you could say that's your family because we lived amongst each other, correct? And we intermarried, but does that make us natives? That's the real, that's, I think we need to discuss it that way. Can they claim the heritage by just knowing, hey, I grew up around these people. I lived with these people. I was picking cotton with these people. Can you speak on that more? Yeah, yeah I, I tried to talk to her about it. She got upset when I when I mentioned it. I, the, the situation is a little complex, right? We do know that at, that enslaved Africans tended to have closer relationships with Native Americans, obviously, right? 
but it's not all a rosy picture. That's the reason why she was offended enough to pick my book up out of my bag, by the way, and show it to you on the screen. Because the reality is that the picture is not all rosy. First of all, we also know that um, the five civilized tribes, as the United States called them, they also enslaved African Americans. In fact, there are even Native American groups now who refuse to offer nation, nation citizenship status to African Americans who can prove that they were enslaved by those Native Americans. Some have done the right thing and said, yes, our people enslaved you, you're part of our nation. But others have, have refused. And so that's part of the story as well. The other thing we need to recognize is, and I always show this video, this is a video that I took with my own phone, Dr. Gina Page, one of the principals for AfricanAncestry.com, saying that um, uh, when they actually looked at the percentage of Native American DNA in that large database of African Americans, they found it to be less than 5%. So that's the other part of the story. We know that there have been, I don't think there's any African American or probably, and even Afro-Caribbean, by the way, who doesn't say, you know, I got native in my family. Everybody says it. But when we do the DNA, you know what we actually see? We see primarily European DNA. And that is the painful story that people are running from. That's the painful story that people are running from. So I want us to understand all of this. So Netter, if you like, I could play the video with Gina. Let me let me chime in real quick, brother Jabari. Sure. If you don't mind. Right. Yeah. So, you know, when you look at the northeastern Indian tribes, like the Shinnecock, right? Because that's like the main go-to tribe that a lot of people in in New York City say that they have connections to. But when you when you look at the earliest images of the the Shinnecock tribes, and and the tribes on on uh, in Long Island, uh, I mean I'm from Far Rockaway Queens, right? Rockaway, that name is Rockawake, Rockawake I believe it is. Mm -hmm. It's a, a old Native American term that has been anglicized to whereas we call it Rockaway, and now it's Far Rockaway. And a lot of those those tribes, they intermarried with with black people because they had slave plantations in New York City that people don't know about. Brooklyn had huge yeah. slave yeah. plantations. Oh, and, yeah. when, and when New York City freed the slaves in 1827, 20, you start to see this, you know, uh, uh, intermingling with blacks and and these Native Americans. Right. Most of what these people are doing is they're plucking this intermarriage and saying, I am originally that. And that's, that's pseudo. Top Cap, right? He says he comes from the, the Coshada, Alabama, Texas peoples, the, this particular tribe. We contacted the Coshada tribe. Oh. He said they never heard of this guy. He said his mo mother, Mama Sarah, was a chief. Of that tribe, we asked, we asked, was there ever a woman chief? They said, no. Have you ever heard of a Mama Sarah being chief? No. Do you have black people in your tribe? The man said, yeah, I'm, I'll talk to him by phone. He said, yes, but they are not original peoples of our tribe. We are con what America would consider in, in old terms or parlance, red people. He said, the blacks that are in our tribe only come through via intermarriage. So these people are just making up this stuff, man. And Brother Jabari, again, I'm extending the invitation for you to come on, be the power, and come build. We would love, love to have this conversation the over there as well. I would love to come on, be the power. I really would. We, Honest, need, to brother. we need to just set it up. Definitely, definitely. I would, I would love to be on be the power. I definitely. Have always, I've always said that I enjoy the intellectual rigor that Lord Abba brings to the conversation. Honest, brother. Honest. I said that. So any channel that you're part of, I would I would be honored to actually to, to join the conversation. Honest, so, brother. You know, hey, let me say something real quick. I see we got the young brother Tori in the building. Tori just did a powerful, powerful Jabari. How old are you, Tori? I'm 19. Wow. All right, you're 19. Not, you're young and you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn as and get Boy, better as you go. 
Tori 19. Now, Tori, you have done a, a great presentation, slideshow, Brother Jabari, Ooh, on the channel. Yeah, he did a nice slideshow on the channel. Wow. But um, let me let me tell you, brother, it don't really worry me that much because I got a lot of people that um that that check a lot of channels for me and they will send me screenshots. What bothered me, young Tory, so I'm going to say this to you so you would know, what bothered me with you, young brother, is that there was a stream that somebody done, that this particular person done, and they was, and this was like three, four days ago, and they was talking about me having AIDS and uh -huh. talking about my wife and just talking crazy through, for like maybe three to four hours. And I couldn't believe, Tori, that right after doing a show with me that nobody else wouldn't do a show with me, I mean, with you or nobody, you jumped in the chat room, young brother, and said, great stream, great show. And I couldn't believe that that was coming from you because you just yeah. left my channel doing a show that I that I, I put together, Jabari, um, something called the Little Leagues for young brothers because... My aim now is to let these young brothers get their feet wet. You know what I'm saying, Jabari? I think that's a good look to let them come in, not just to always be a fan buyer. And right, so you're looking out for the youth. Brother, Justin, just kinda like, Justin. Hold on, hold on, Jabari. Hold on, JB I, or something. Don't call it Little Leagues. That's not like Little Kids. <laughs> 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 yeah, Junior Varsity. I'm going to say to you, brother, it, I got tough skin. But it did bother me because you are you are a young brother who I like and I still like you. So don't think that oh, yeah, I'm you still over here so and upset with you. It, you just got to be careful to not get into that bag because you don't see no knowledge or information coming from that. And so when you come over here, we welcome you in. You are part of our yeah, we family. Love you, you can come in and yo son, another. You know I got a presentation. I I need to drop, and I'm here for you. But you ain't gonna be able to get that over there unless you are a particular in a particular um cult. See, over here, everybody can participate. You don't have to be in a group to, to be a brother. You got to be in a particular cult to be down with them, mm. you know. So that's all I wanted to say, my brother. So, do you really believe now that I got you here on Sarnetta TV in front of everybody? Yeah, <laughs> you show Tori love. Stream, that that was a great stream that they were doing, talking about me and my wife. And no, I didn't say it was a great stream. I said I thought that it was funny because they said some things that I found funny. I wasn't like what? Not, not, what they found funny. Funny. not the things that they said about you and your wife. Oh, no, they okay. say things about other people, and I was I was like, what, what I'm saying is, how can the stream be funny? When they was talking about me for like damn near three hours, they didn't pause. It was like you'll figure. It. I think you'll learn. You're gonna learn. You just stay under Sonnetter and Jabari and all the brothers over here. Yeah, you, I see you, you as learn. a student, Morpheus. You come in here. We got scholars. Morpheus is a hell of a researcher. Yeah, Lord yeah. Abba is a hell of a researcher. Yeah. Nepal, brother Jabari, we got scholars over here. And that's why you don't see us. Hold up, hold up, Tori. Yeah. Why do you think you don't see us over here doing the show every day just talking and gossiping about somebody? Mm. We don't do that over here. We mm. teach over here. Mm. See? And you, and you want to be a part of that. You want to be a part of that. You're a young man, and we, we, we you know, Sonnetter, you'll, love you. you'll, set up, you'll lead him in the right direction. You'll we love you, brother. Way. Notice you don't see Brother Lionel on none of that stuff. Ah, yo, nope, yo, brother, on the same age. Never. You don't see him over there with that crazy stuff, laughing. And he don't even be on the channel mm. because of the love and respect that he have over here. You see, so that's all I wanted to say, my brother. That's all you want to you want to um add on to the bill that you just heard. The yeah, young lady, wanted, brother Jabari. Yeah, I wanted to say that you know me. I used to believe that I was an Indian because you know I was watching Dane Calloway. Mm. And, you know, I, I wasn't doing my research and I was just going off of what he said. And I believe there I was believing everything that he said until I really started thinking. And I started reading and researching for myself. And I found out that a lot of that stuff wasn't true. Like I even stopped believing in the slave trade and all that because of the things that he was saying. Yeah. Like, see, that's he, how dangerous that is. That's what Lord Aber is talking about. Yeah. You're a young man. 
And Lord yeah. Abba had to correct his daughters before it even get out of hand. Today, Did you see the um like that was today I, I had to, to correct them? Yeah, what I need you to do, Tori, <laughs> type in Brother Jabari. What was the name of that video you did on Dame Calloway, Jabari? Uh, oh, man, I think it was called... You got to go and watch that. Go watch that. Yeah, um, it's a long... It's about four hours, but yeah, I... Yeah, I remember. I, I need to rewatch that myself. I watched man. everything, and I debunked everything, and I even showed how much he plagiarizes. The first yeah. person... Yep. If, to be honest, the first person who noticed his plagiarism was Ankh. Anka Keck was the person that noticed it first. But once I saw that, I said, oh, wait a minute. It can't just be this. And mm -hmm. I went deep. I went deep. And so, you know, th there's there's a point where we have to acknowledge that um, th that what he is doing is damaging and it's intentional. What he's doing is intentional. The first thing he says on his videos is, give me money. Now, listen, I have no problem with someone recognizing that providing content should be business as well, right? I have no problem with that. You have to live. Sonetta spends, I don't, Sonetta's got to spend 50, 60 hours a week doing this. How could he do that if he couldn't find a way to live? I get mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But he doesn't even begin by saying, yo, give me money. He says, peace and black power family. Just to, just, just think for us. He, he done stole my slogan, brother? No, I'm saying that's what you say. Oh, oh, yes. Saying, think of the difference. And then I remind them that my cash app still works. So I let them. <laughs> Dave Calloway begins by saying, give me money. Salneta begins by saying, peace to the family. Just think about the difference for a second. And I want to, I want to read a very short quote from my book. This is from an elder. He is a Ghanaian chief. He's the chief that helped me um, become a chief. Listen to this quote. This is the reason why what, he, what they're doing is so dangerous. The elder's name is Nanaqua David, Dave, uh, Nanaqua David Whitaker. Listen to what he says. He says, what you do for yourself depends on what you think of yourself. What you think of yourself depends on what you know on, of yourself. And what you know of yourself depends on what you have been told. Mm. There's a direct connection between what you've heard about yourself and what you do for yourself. What they are doing is damaging. It's damaging. And so we have a lot of work to do to try to undo the damage that these folks are doing. We're trying to confuse us about who we are. Hey, hey Jabari, you know, um, I don't know who the sister is. I never heard of her. Sister, daughter, can you turn the camera on, please? Cameras, turn on the cameras. There you go. Um, I don't know who the sister is, but when she popped up, I seen a couple of people say, oh, this sister is deep. So I don't know who you are, sister. Can you introduce no, no, you yourself to the panel? Thank you for that. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay. You're a little echo. The reason why I keep just She's in a hollow me. area, I think. That's why, Jabari. That's the okay. problem. I do apologize, but I'm also in a, a, a weird setting, and it's hard for me, so that's why I had to turn the camera off, okay? Okay. So if I may, just let you okay, know. Okay, Thank you go so ahead. much for your time. Okay. Um, real quickly, peace in the chat, you guys. So um, I, I listened to the conversation. I came in on a tail end of it. And so I was sort of- It's hard to really hear what you're saying, right, okay. Jabari? Because of the echo, you probably need to slow down a little bit. Because Not the okay. echo. She's in a hollow area. It sounds yes, hollow. I know, I know. But sometimes when you're in an echoey place, if you speak quickly, your voice gets caught by the echo. So speak a little slower. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Bluetooth off and maybe that'll be better. Give me one minute. Okay. One minute, please. I'm going yes. to take my Bluetooth off. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, the Bluetooth. I do a problem. By the way, while she's doing that, um, one of the folks in the chat said, Jabari, if he has Native American heritage, how can you say he's not of Native American? I, I, there's some people who get confused by this. Okay. On I have never said that there aren't African people who right. have intermarriage with Native that's Americans. Right. That's right. That's what issue right. is when they say, I keep saying it and people still get confused. Um, my issue is when they say that this group of people that we call black folks are not Africans, that we were always here, that we are the native people. There are a number of people of African descent that have, usually it's a small number, by the way, mm -hmm. that have Native American DNA. And that's because of intermarriage. That's what happens. Yes. Not my, my, mother, my mother is right, one of those on. people. She's, 
She's Native American. Her mom is Native American and her father is of African slave descent. So, yes, I understand what you're saying. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes, that is true. All right. Come on, sister. You back. OK. Is that a little better? That's yes, a lot better. Is. OK. Again, peace, you guys. Peace to the chat. Peace, peace, Real peace. quickly. Um, so as I was listening and trying to catch up to what the conversation was about, a few things instantly kind of like. Um, had my mind going, right? So if I recall, I do remember the sister saying that she, that from her fraternal side, they come from Barbados. Did I hear that correctly? Is that what she yeah. told you, the bar? Yes, she okay. did. Yes. Yes, and did. so when you began to ask her, right, like, okay, and what does that mean? And then she began to say, well, you know, um, the Caribbean, what have you, the Americas, we're all mixed up, right? So it was interesting that she was, she was more than willing um, to say that it was the Irish, apparently who settled there first if i heard her and yes. that they were irish and they were uh, mixed with dutch indian and i am okay so let's let's quickly this this really it was interesting so i'm also from my my people also hail from barbados okay and from the most coolie look invasion until the most you know maroon look invasion so to speak we're all you're taught very quickly that um, the first inhabitants of that island were not the Irish, right? They were the British, that's number one. And the British came over and colonized that island about the 1600s, so the 17th century, right? Also, we also know that yes, while there were different types of like the Arawaks, the Tainos, the Caribs, right? That, that were living, let's say, in that island that we now call Barbados, it wasn't really inhabited. It wasn't a fully populated island until Africans were brought over, right? So for, for, it's interesting, right? Like this sort of resistance to say, well, of course I'm African, I'm of African descent, right? So, you, so I am to believe that um, you're Irish, but that's really black Irish or that your people hail from all these different yeah. um, um, colonizer nations and you can accept that, swallow it and deal with it, right? Like it's palatable. But then when you say, well, what about the African mix up? All of a sudden that's, a, that, that's weird. So Man, that's powerful, sis. That yeah, is a powerful a observation. Thank you, bro. And so just, you know, as a, as a Bayesian to a Bayesian, right? So my sister said her, her father side hill from that same island. You know, I would say just real quickly, you know, just go, go visit your people, take a look. The first thing you will quickly realize is that, of course, you're more African than you are anything else, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, and I'm going to be real clear about this, right? When I did my genealogy, so to speak, and prior to my grandmother transitioning, you know, you're taught and you're told these stories and, you, and, and things are passed down. What I know for a fact is that prior to Africans being brought over, right, before the colonizers sort of like, you know, started, you, you know the story, yeah? Mm hmm Yes. Right? If you want to look at the color of the people, they were more, I don't want to say, but they, they were more um, indigenous, like uh, like the, the indigenous Indian group, so to speak, right? We all know that it was the Africans that pretty much made the island what it is today. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, if you are from Barbados, and I'm sure this applies to other Caribbean islands, yeah, there's a point where your, your genealogy stops. So for me and mine, it goes back to like, I can't go any further than 1860, which tells me, well, of course I can't, right? Because prior to my great, 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 great grandmother being brought over here to Barbados, right? Her people came from somewhere because my people are blue black. I love it. Do you understand? Mm. True, true, I mean, it, the, the blood seeps through you. I, I'm mm. confused about this. Yes. My other thing though is, I find it also interesting, right? And it's kind of heartbreaking because what is this need to sort of resist or change the story of just who you are? Yeah. Why is it? So if I can't say, if, if I understood, if, I, if, if what she's saying is, whoa, 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 you can't say that they were Cameroonian because that's what the colonizer called it, right? This is what she was saying as part of her argument when you were talking yeah. about the Perry gentleman. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, no, no. But where do they come from? Well, then the same thing applies to your argument. Yes. You then should never use the word Indian. You should That's never right. use the word America. That's you should right. never use the word Jamaica. You should never use, like, what are we doing here? So yeah. I'm going to have an intellectual conversation. We have to have a common language. 
Yeah. I can't keep playing with these words. Yeah. Like, where are we starting from? Yeah. Give me that something to work with. Town. We were in you know, town. It was like. It looked real quick. It shows that anybody with just a pinch of common sense can dissect yeah. their arguments. Just a pinch of common sense. Yeah. Imagine if you're talking to a, a, a scholar like Jabari, right? Mm -hmm. But just the everyday layman could hear the BS in this. This is a distraction. It's all this pretendianism is a distraction. It needs to be eradicated from the psyches of our, of our people. And I mean, that, that's it. And that's that. That's it. And that's all. And not only that, guess what? When I go to when, when me and my sister had traveled to Tanzania last year. Yes. Mm. They assumed prior to hearing us talk that we were Tanzanian, Zanzibari. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. But I never got that response whenever I visited any European country. You understand me? Yeah. I've never been, no, no, when I've gone to, let's say, France or when we went to, to England, per se, right? I didn't see them saying, oh, yeah, I know you're my, my people. No, because I'm not of that. But when I went to that African nation, immediately I saw myself and everyone I was walking around. Yeah. We have got to do better. My grandfather on my, okay, so my granddad, is also German, right? And quote unquote black. So because his my great grandmother was 100% German, does that mean that what I'm no longer African or right. I'm no longer of that descent? Come on. Yeah. Not we have a lot of work to do, sis. We food. have a lot of work There's to do. Similarities in the foods, yes? Right? Yeah. So if we're eating fly fish, cuckoo, um, coconut water, whatever, sorrel, moabi, all these bush plants, when we went to Tanzania, guess what? They were called different, and this is on the East Coast, right? Mm -hmm. Most of us came from some part of the Western Hemisphere in Africa. But I'm mm -hmm. talking about now, even in the Eastern part of that beautiful continent, we found similar food, if not better. Different words, mm -hmm. different flavors, but this was a connection. Yeah, yeah. So if I, if... if how do we have a conversation if we don't have, if we can't agree on just a common understanding around language? Yeah. Yeah. It's a real problem. And, and, you know, the part of it is that some of the folks that are making these arguments are making a lot of money doing it. And so we can't expect that they're going to um, uh, uh, prevent themselves from their from uh, receiving their economic gains. Those are I'm talking about folks like Dan Calloway, because when you actually see that he has been uh, plagiarizing so much, it's very clear that he knows what he's doing. He's pulling them from Native American sites. He knows what he's doing. So you know we have we have a lot of of challenges, but we're going to have to continue to work on trying to make the connections. And you know, listen. And I'm even talking to some of the Hebrew groups who like to say the African is is um, is is cursed and that they're not Africans. Mm -hmm. We're talking to some of them, too. We have a lot of work to do mm -hmm. so that yeah. people are on the same page as to understanding who we are and where we came from. That's still not going to mean we're going to all do the same thing, believe the same thing. There's no problem with having differences of opinion. But if you see yourself as defeated, benighted, despicable. What can you do for our people? That's the problem we have. Mm. And all I'm right, all one, right. I do a, can I just make one last point and I'm gonna drop down and give the other um, you know, people a time. So I do apologize, but just real quickly, I was thinking when you said that, Jabari, um, it's like, so yes, we're not a monolith. I think we all know that, right? We, we get that, right? We, I always say we are a tribal people. Okay, period. So it's not like we are all one thing. So if that rocks out and that works for, let's say, her or whoever believes that, more power to you. I do understand the legalities around why they um, may feel like saying that I am indigenous, right? Um, and this is my nationality. I understand the legalities around that in terms of like trying to get some type of like compensation or recompensation. I get it. But what I know more than anything else is that it does nothing for the psyche, right, of anybody. It does nothing for the psyche to utterly reject and dismiss what is common sense. It's in front of you. So I just say that in love. Thank you guys for your time. Hey, sister, hold on. What is your name? What do they call you? 
Well, I go by Daughters of the Sea. So that's okay. Perfect. Daughters of the Sea. Um, we would love to have you come on mm -hmm. um, as a guest. And um, you got my email? I can look it up. Okay. All right. Thank you. Get the no email doubt. and we can bring you in. Okay. I know you got to go, Jabari, because it's already 11 and you're on your way yeah. to where? Philly I'm tomorrow? Traveling. I'm traveling. Yeah, I got to drive to Philly and then fly to Chicago. So. All right. So you can let the doorknob hit you with a good long split, you brother. <laughs> yeah, peace, brother. <laughs> peace to you and your queen. Hey, yeah. let me bring on my man, uh, Turtle Gang, man. What's going on, Turtle Gang? Uh oh. Um, you let me ho hold up. Let me help you out. Cause I can't hear you. Go ahead. What's going on, Turtle Gang? Peace. I want to say peace to the panel. Peace, peace to Jabari. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, peace to Lord Albert. That's my man. Yo, um, I just wanted to add a little to the bill before my phone go dead. Go ahead, um, brother. So, so si, you know me. I've been around for a while. That's right. Um, Doing your thing too. How's yeah, the documentaries yeah. coming along? Everything's great, man. You know. Beautiful. I, I, I've been I've been turtle for for a long time now. That's right. Uh, you know we used to have these heated discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very yeah. very consistent. And right. I want to say I just want to say that much of what Jabari has to say is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. Much of what much of what the panel has to say is absolutely true. My 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 issue is that we can't throw blankets over everyone. There are those right. of us out here that are very honest, very sincere, and will have these discussions. Minus the rhetoric, you know what I mean? I'd be happy to sit down with anybody and lay lay some truths out, you know what I mean? Um, the people I come from, or Lenape and Kituwa, we document it. You can Google my people now. You can look up Reeve Town, New Jersey, and get our whole history, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so the point I'm trying to make is that there's a lot of people out here who probably have Native ancestry in them, you know what I'm saying? I won't deny that, but for them to say that they are this or that is very misleading um you'll never hear me say i'm native you'll never hear me say i'm an indian you'll never hear me say none of these things you'll you'll hear me say i am lenape i'm lenape why that's my people you know what i mean within that people is is, is a bunch of mo of ethnicity based on colonization and, and what was going on in the periods when not just europeans was coming here but when africans was coming here my family also participated in the Underground Railroad. This is all documented. We free, helped free over 10,000 slaves. You know what I mean? Run, mm. Runaways, I would say. You know what I mean? This is all documented, and it's like I have no problem sitting down with someone and having this conversation. But what's going on with a lot of people is that they are trying to use the little bit of information they have to create a new identity for themselves. And I think that's, that's disingenuous. And uh, it seems that a lot of these people seem to get a lot of light, get a lot of attention, and they are uh, misconstruing the truth. Now, yeah, I what say city this, are you in? You in Brooklyn? Or are you still I'm out here? I'm, no, I'm in Brooklyn. Okay. So okay. let me say this. My people are the Lenape people, right? And all these tribes that you speak of, when we talk about Shinnecock, Pequot, all these Northeastern woodland tribes, they all come out of the, out of the Lenape people, okay? The names that they go by are their location names, right? But the, the general name for our people from uh, like the Abenaki on down to the Powhatan, we all Lenape people. We all come from one, one stock of people, right? Originally, let me say that originally. And we have a migration story, you know what I'm saying? That migration story puts us right in the middle of coming of what people would like to deem the out of Africa theory. But I would say this, our migration story was told to Europeans before the out of Africa theory was ever developed. You understand? It was on record going back to the 1600s. So a lot of people, like a lot of the Aboriginal community don't like me, got a problem with me because I have no problem with our ancestors originally migrating from the land that we geographically call Africa. You know what I mean? So I'm a little different and I base that on tradition. I base that on our tribal cultures. You know, mm. pardon me. Like when we enter into, when we enter into the circle, the sacred circle at a powwow, right? We enter from the east. You understand? We enter from mm -hmm. the east and we travel west. That has to do with culture. That ain't got nothing to do with reading nothing out of a book. That has to do with culture. And that happens, and that's something that represents our migration path. There's a tradition amongst Native American communities, right? Called the Morning Star tradition. Morning Star has to do with Venus, right? Venus is the star, is the star of renewal in indigenous Native American communities, right? 
And I use that term because that's the common term that people use, right? But that, but that morning star tradition represents a migration, right? Uh, the Aborigines in, in, in Australia have that same tradition, the morning star tradition, which speaks to absolutely our migrations. Now, when you trace your people who are able to trace their um, family history back into a nation, at some point you gotta, you gotta now study the nation's history. You gotta deal with the traditions of the nation not just what your grandmother told you. Because your grandmother, though she may be a descendant of these people, she might not know the tradition or the history, right? So now when you start dealing with the, the history of nations, my nation in particular, who is labeled by all the Algonquin speakers, we are, we are labeled grandfather, right? And how that is established is through our dialects, through our languages, right? The Muncie language, right, is the foundational language of the Algonquin tongue. Right. This is why you have similarities in certain words from uh, from tribe to tribe. I, I would say every 50 miles you have a change in dialect. I'll give you an example. So the Muncie term for thank you is a niche. OK, the Wunami term for thank you is Wanishi. So when you're familiar with the languages, you can hear the similarity in a niche and Wanishi. OK, so the Muncie people would have been the people located in northern Jersey, Manhattan, you understand that area. The Wunami people would have been people that were more so located in the Pennsylvania area um, and the uh, inter, inter, Interlago people would be the Southern group, right? So All right, but hold on. Hey, Turtle Gang, um, I'm gonna have to let you go now because I'm about to close out, but okay. here's my email. You see my email on the screen? Yeah, Look yeah. on the screen. Mm -hmm. I hit me you. up, hit me up, and we could do a private show. We could do a one on one show where I let you come in and drop that history. Yeah, we can do a bill. Definitely okay, bill. so I they go my email right there. They go my email. Mm -hmm. Hit me up. I've been on for three plus hours already. Yeah, yeah. I figured, yeah, I just got off work. I wasn't trying to hang out too long anyway. Yeah. I just, I yeah. just wanted to let you know that there are those of us out here that aren't with all the madness, with all the craziness, talking all that craziness. Right. You know what? Come on. I've known you for years. We've been out there in them streets. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you know, yeah. it's definitely a conversation I would like to have. I would like to have a bill with Jabari as well. Okay, so brother, look, take my email down, hit me with your number so I can send you my number and we can yeah, organize you. that. I got you. All right, peace, my brother. Peace to you. Right, let me let somebody else brother. get on this panel real quick. Peace right. to you, my People, brother. Uh, let's go there. Uh, excuse me, King. Yeah. Honey, I just want to ask a quick question. Um, because when I was thinking about it, T Tori had asked me if I did my DNA and I haven't, but my sister has and my mother has. And I was thinking about with my mom's DNA test, um, if anybody knows, I think there's a way, there's a different way to test for your Native American. It's not just like you, you anybody that knows about DNA testing, because I, I think my mom did something like that. You have to actually do a, a separate test for your ancestry and your DNA testing when you want to find out if you're Native American. Is that true? Does anybody know about that? I'm sorry, I don't know all about it. But I, I recall something like that where my mom was saying, um, you have to actually specify, listen, I want to find out specifically my Native American DNA. Anybody familiar with that? Because that would rule out a lot. You know, if you... If you think you're native, because my mother all her life she was she was like, I'm native. She would claim being native from her mom, who's native, but her dad is not native. Uh, uh, but still, she went ahead and got a DNA test, and I and I think specifically you have to say, I want to test for Native American DNA. Anybody at all has ever? I wish I could have asked the brother who was just on, because he seemed like he's very familiar with um, his heritage. Anybody yeah, I knew the brother for a long time, Nepal. He was one of the brothers that used to be out there on the streets when I was out there with the bullhorn and all that. And um, yeah, he was always going in. He was never afraid to, to speak his piece. And we had them debates out there with the brother. So he definitely hold his ground. So I'm ho I'm glad I I'm glad he came in and linked back up with my brother because um he definitely knows his shit. He knows his shit. Turtle gang, he has a um a nice, um, you know, film and production that he does as well. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, the brother's definitely on point with his shit. So, yeah, let me, let me let you know, whoever it is in the back, 
whoever it is in the back, you got to turn your camera on if you want to come right. on the show. Yeah. All right. Is he referring uh, let me go to, to Turtle to Island? Da da I asked you a question. Sunday, is he referring to Turtle Island? I mean, because does he do DNA testing? I, I, I don't know if he's still listening. Yeah, but well, we'll figure all of that out when we get him on, on the show. When we bring him right, on, he right. wants to sit with Jabari as well. So I think right. that'd be great. He's oh, he's in Brooklyn, so he ain't far away. Okay, let me get my brother uh, Dazzle. Did mm -hmm. I pronounce your name? How do I pronounce your name, brother? Dizali. Dizali. Oh, this is Dizali. Dizali. He's from SVDL. Oh, yeah? You from SDBL, Dizali? Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I was over there about a Are year you a Hebrew? And a half. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. He, he's, on the, he's on the dark side. He follows um, that Lex Vortex's doctrine. Oh, okay. Okay. That's one of his minions. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You know, I wouldn't say that. What's I'm just up? kidding. How are, how are you? What's up, my brother? What's, What's up, up? Napa? What, um, Napa? What's up, Sa? Another oh. wonderful show. I wanted to con congratulate uh, brother Jabari. You know, I don't even know why people try. He's uh, <laughs> undefeatable. He, you know, no one's going to de defeat him in this uh, history, theology, et cetera, et cetera. But um, what I really wanted to to do was try and give you and some of the people listening a bit of the mindset of the um aboriginals because i was in into this back way back in like 2008 2009 while back you know what i mean so you all are you do have half of it where there's self-hate but there's another key aspect to it the key aspect to it is brothers and sisters being brothers and sisters, which is trying to take a shortcut. What they're thinking is that they're going to be able to paperwork them themselves to a position of power and owning land in this country. They think that if they can show, you know, where they have land deeds and uh, I forgot what else it is called, that they can take that to the government and have land given to, to them when anyone who's in the 21st century knows that there's only one way that you uh, obtain land and power and that's by force so our brother Claude Anderson says something he he says that black people spend too much time on horizontal issues horizontal issues being issues that aren't going to move you up aren't going to move you you down they aren't moving you anywhere even if they were Indians so what? Your land was taken from you. You aren't about to paperwork it back. You aren't about to go take um, paperwork to the government and they're, they're going to give you half of the Western U.S. That's not going to work. It's a waste of time. And I, I know this because, like I said, I was in this be before most of the people even heard of it. And it made me walk around with my chest poked out more because it felt better saying that white people tricked us out of land instead of slavery you know th that that's just some of, of the things that go through the me mentality of these people that want to be indians be because what's the benefit of it so you're indian what you're not going to get any land <laughs> any real money maybe a family here a family there and my my last point that i want someone who's into science to go down this path with them because many of, of them are making themselves almost sound like they're not homo sapien sapien like when when the young lady was saying that her people sprouted from the ground here you're basically saying that you're not homo sapien sapien how can an african man and an indian woman have children if they they don't share um uh, um um residence on the family tree they would not be able to have children at all because they are totally different uh, uh species you have to be very careful saying that you're not homo sapien sapien because homo sapien sapiens are not nice to things that are not homo sapien sapien they will mess around and find themselves in a zoo or in a laboratory you know but that's all that i had had to say so thank you all right thank you my brother appreciate that all right, let me get through this. Peace, peace. What's happening? Love is love, families. How you doing, Sonetta? I'm know, good. What's going no, on? Is the, is the number one Aboriginal in the building. Say that <laughs> again. 
the number one Aboriginal Jetta B in the building. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jetta B. So I was listening to the show, and I think the whole argument that y'all having is like way off from what we should be at this point in life. Like, so I gotta just say, like, we y'all letting them steal our gold first of all with all the confusion that's going on around here in the first place. So while y'all sitting over here arguing, trying to go to the colonists to figure out who you are, and you going to the scientists for a blood test to figure out what dirt you came up out of then they telling you you can't possibly have came up out of this dirt though but they got the freaking blood test to tell you the dirt you really came from now okay so first of all if you want to if you are original if your grandmama told you you was a cherokee or your grandmama told you the tribe you was from they already base everything on the fact that they know y'all got no attention spans okay so at the end of the day if your grandmother told you who you was but they already had anti-literacy laws on them books any other people came to this country that they felt the need to dumb down the next generation by acts of congress like obviously you come from some genius people okay and let me ask you so um uh are you african did life start in africa everybody african what, what, what's african define african like, you know you what i'm african? talking about you, I you, no, when, when I say African, That's I'm talking African. about from the land of Africa, what is called Africa today. That's what I'm saying. From the land of Africa. See, yeah, we're from, about the land yeah of Africa. you know what I'm does talking about. Include, does that include Egypt? Um, Egypt is in Africa, but no, right, I know so you're not an Egyptian. Africa. I'm not right, saying so you're I, Egyptian. I, you know, you know, are you? Egyptian. All right, let me ask you this. Do you, you know, have I'm any... All right, do you have any African DNA in you? That's what I would ask you. What is African DNA? When I, when oh, I, my God. All, we ain't going to start this, sister. All, I'm not Africa, doing this tonight, I mean, sis. I mean, listen, listen, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Africa, right? When you go, I've been to Africa, okay? I've been to Nigeria. Okay. When you go to Africa, they don't even call themselves Africans, okay? They call Since, they man, I already know they all of that. I know that. I'm call, using Africa for the term, for the perspective. They go to their tribes, okay? All right, hold on. I got to put you on mute. You're a live wire. You're a live one. When I'm talking about Africa, sister, I'm talking about where everybody would know exactly what we're talking about. We know that the landmass is not, it wasn't known as Africa. We know that they don't call themselves African. We know that there is not a such thing called African people. They call themselves by their names over there. You know what I'm saying? So we know that. So when I say, are you an African, you damn well know what I'm talking about. So let's not play these games. So do you have any DNA in you from what is called African continent? Let's say that. Okay. Thank See, you. You can't do the same. You can't do that to me, though. You can't say what they call Africa. Then you oh, tell me, hold on, you tell me I definitely can't be <laughs> Egypt. So crazy. The continent of Africa. You can't tell me. And can I be for Ethiopia? Where where does African exist at? Like where where does the where the borders are African at? Because I, when can, I say can I jump in for a second, please? Uh, can I jump in for a second? You know how I asked the question just now, sis. Peace to you. Um, yeah. the question about the Native American test. And um, is it specific or is there something different? So I appreciate the answers um, from the chat. There isn't actually, I just did a quick search. There isn't actually a specific test in DNA for ancestry for Native American, because it's kind of broad, like what you're saying about African. So this links to what you're saying. But when you start, um, there are different companies who are now like doing tribal, um, links and there's somebody in the chat named Craig Smith who kind of I think he was alluding to you find out okay am I is does my DNA the location of my people are they in this location where these tribes were so you can look at at that sis I'm, I'm going to what you were doing with okay. Africa with Africa with Africa there's different areas like you'll find out okay I'm, I have Malian ancestry. I have Ethiopian ancestry. So what Sonnet is asking is, I, I think, do you have any, any DNA from any, con I mean, from any country on the continent of Africa? 
Well, any I, see location. My, I see my afro in the pyramid, so I, I I I tend to gravitate toward my afro and the and the, and the, and the um and the evidence that's there that looks like that represents me. Like if you want to look at a picture, now I, I get confused when they start talking about African because see y'all starting to deal with the corporate terms and stuff like that. See that what, 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 when you're going into that, I got to prove to this when I'm a native. Who you got to prove to? But your tribe and who you are. Like you talking about corporate terms, okay? And see, I come from the people that we've been Indian. We've been my parents into the full-blooded colored like then they didn't even put a, a, a race on my birth certificate because they ain't know what to call me okay so when you're dealing with corporate terms and you going to do business with the government or whatever whatever reason you got to go tap into them and try to tell them that you something or try to identify yourself by blood tell who you trying to prove something to like if you if you native you you um they can't tell you what you are you know what you are okay your family history you don't sister you don't know who you are sister you yes, don't I, do. my, I got family books i got my history you don't I, know I, who you I, are I, sister. I, I, you you I, just I, going I, by a belief no you what, don't what know. is your name I'm not, I, what I, is I, your I, name so why are you afraid I, to prove I, it then so I, prove I, it i'm, I'm proving it i will prove what i prove what you think you can go get a DNA test? No. This, is the reason why, this is the reason why the tribes got a whole bunch of white people in it, okay? And the only ones that the real like aboriginals and indigenous people got to fight with are other black people. And I'm going to tell you how dangerous the African slaves were to the Indian, to the aboriginal, or whatever. When master telling them, lock down, put your this and that and this and that on, and the Indian going, nah, I, I, I govern myself. I do my own thing. They be the main one. It don't even be the white man trying to fight and take you down. It be some African slave or somebody came from somewhere talking about we we nobody from here. You you can't claim to be from here because they not from here. So they don't want you to have they stealing your gold. Can I no? but they stealing your gold. Can I say this real quickly? Real quickly, let me jump in. Okay, when we hear about how the Native Americans they couldn't be enslaved. Oh, they I, I hear that a lot. They couldn't be enslaved, and you know we were the ones who could be enslaved. There, if you know your history as far as slavery in, in South America, the 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 slaves of Brazil, they left and they started a whole community in the in the uh, rainforest. So it wasn't just Native Americans who couldn't be enslaved. And then, of course, we all know about what happened in Haiti. The the up the um you know, the rebellion against the revolution against the slave masters. So um, when we hear about how, you know, the Native Americans, they were so much more, they were so much braver and they fought, they fought against the white man and they couldn't be enslaved. That's not even absolutely true anyway, because they were broken down by the colonizer just the same. Uh, wait, I take that back. We were broken down worse, but they were broken down and, and, and destroyed uh, and there's a lot of genocide with the natives. So it's on, you know, we can't really say, oh, when we say we're African and we went with the Massa, we are weak and we, we don't want to think about what great warriors we are. I think that's what you're trying to say, that, that Native Americans were more valiant. Um, I'm but saying, I'm going to ask saying, you, are you... Are you gonna take a DNA test? Are you gonna no, take a DNA test? I don't know what DNA test. You got these people been digging out graves up for five hundred years. You want me to base? You want me to go to them to the answers of me? For what? They, they still studying us. Listen, you going back to the corporate terms again, okay? When you start talking about Native American, okay? My family was in that Bullock County area over there in Alabama. She is not going to take a DNA test, man. That's like kryptonite because they are yeah. afraid to be told that they got they got DNA, they got lineage in Africa. She is not going to do that. Notice no Hebrew, no no Indian, no natives, that none of them, no Moors, none of them. All of them will tell you they don't want to take a DNA test because they are afraid of, of the truth. They hate themselves. They've been taught to hate themselves. Such a stigma has been has been attached to black. Everything that is black is negative. Black ball, black male, black coat. The bad guy wears the black hat. The good guy wears the white hat. All that shit is still going. It's still right. going on today. And so they are afraid of that. They've been affected by that. I don't know. Yeah. I think they've been affected inside of the womb. And so yes. they, they watch these movies and inside of that womb of, the, of that birth canal through their mama, the mother was watching, not, not being disrespectful, but the mother watching this stuff and they've been infected through the womb. And so wow. it's hard to get them out of here. 
they are afraid to talk about the greatness of black. But it's all right. It's all right. Because all you're doing, my sister, is letting us know that you are not of the original family. You are not of the original people of the planet. So when you try to lean hold to all these other people and all these other nations, you letting us know that you are a mutt. You are a mutt that comes from all kind of racist well, people. We, you are not well, from the original mutt. land of what we call Africa, sister. And now go ahead. I'm going to let you go ahead and defend no, but this. We're all mutts, though. We're all mutts. We're not going to... I, I, I want to say this. Talking about. At least we know who we are coming out yeah. here. Say, let, let me let say this defend. real quick. Ahead, sister. Real quick before she goes, because she's going to... I'm going to let you go and go. But listen, you can love who you are if you have a, you know, a, a multiracial or multicultural background. The Like Sonetter said and like Jabari said, it is a part of our post-traumatic slave syndrome it's it's encoded yeah. in your dna I'm that you hate I'm not, I'm not you afraid. hate listen you really do hate there are white women trying to be claiming black rachel dolezal the name, name, name. there are people who want to be black and they're not the and they name, want name, to name. and when we say oh we don't have any african that's that has to be mental illness how can you sit and be African and say you're not African? So I would I would encourage you, sis, to really, sister, sister. I have a mother. I have a mother who is Native American and black. I have a mother who has full-blooded Native American mother, linked to the tribes, linked to the reservation, all that yeah, sadness. That's true. And then I and saw Netter knows. And then my father. I mean, her, my grandfather was not he was from the caribbean actually just there might be something there because when i saw the sister talk about she's from barbados but he's still black her dad was black but i'm not gonna lie my mother she claims native right son i mean right right son right yeah, um yeah. Son yeah. he says I'm native american when when we when i say but you also are black she goes no i'm native so right. we gotta just be real about it we right. don't we, we don't want to be black we don't want to be black, oh but we need to really look at the post trauma. And now anybody in the chat saying, "Oh, Nepal talks too much." Go to hell. No, um, you good, so, Nepal. Keep talking. Yeah, post traumatic slave syndrome. We are encoded in our biology to hate ourselves. This is something that we can't just say, "Okay, now let's talk about something else." We have it in our biology that somehow. Yeah. We do not yeah. love ourselves. Now, most of us are trying to fight it. Most of us That's are overcoming it. But a lot of us are stuck That's in an archaic bad. mindset. That is a, 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 listen, that's a mindset of survival. Listen to me carefully, my love, sister. That is a, a, a mindset of, listen, that is a mindset of, of archaic survival. We are in survival mode when we had to pass and say, I'm not black. I'm not African, I'm white, I'm native. We don't have to survive anymore. We don't have to deny ourselves. We can love all that we are, but we cannot deny our Africanism. That's all, all right. I'm saying. That's all, all right. I'm saying. Hey, sister, before you go, before you go, I'm only gonna be like um, two seconds. I just wanna first apologize to you, first of all, for calling you a mutt. I take that back. I, I was wrong for that. So I take that back and I stand to be corrected. I was wrong. Um, I'm sorry for that. Go ahead, sister. You got the floor. All right. You know what? When somebody cop out to the name calling, that's when they don't really have nothing really to say. Like, right. You know, that's why I said I got to take that back. And, yeah. and, and, and I'm going to tell you straight up and down, like, y'all still stuck on the corporate terms. You stuck on, you got to be black. You got to be black. That's the Jedi mind. Okay, because they already tell you that black ain't got no daggone rights, and then you say, I'm black, I'm black, you sign up for the shit. Okay, what is black? Make y'all claim being slaves without no proof of being slaves. Okay, when they tell you you're a slave, you don't go look for the record book and find out do they're gonna give you a DNA test for the slave DNA, too. Like, y'all gotta stop this game with the corporate America, the corporate people. It's all corporations, there's a bunch of corporations thinking they can control you people with these slave terms. And I'm trying to tell sister, yo, you, 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 you free. What's black? Like, what's all? You taking these terms? You adopting these terms that the corporation are making up? They are giving you definitions to the terms, and they making you sign up to be the damn slave, okay? When you agree to that shit, that's when you become the slave. And then you do have freedom because there's a lot of people walking around that's not gonna agree to that. You telling black ain't got no rights? No, I'm not fucking black. What's that? 
So you want to claim a you want to claim a people? Let me ask you. No, I gotta ask this. I gotta come in here, Senator. You want to claim this? Let her go. Let her go, Nepal. One more thing. You want to wait? You want to claim Nepal? Nepal. Nepal. She said one more thing. Just let her go. One more time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is something that you said, okay? Because you keep on going drilling my head with this Native American, Native American. That's another corporate term type of thing. I'm a Native of America, okay? That Native American, that just them tribes just popped up in 1890s somewhere, okay? The five civilized tribes was not the way it, the way they are was popped up 1890s somewhere, okay? They gave people a, a, a freaking sign up period to sign up to that shit with five dollars, whatever they was charging or whatever, okay? We was already in the territory the whole time. See, this is why I say they're still on our goal because while they bringing people in from everywhere else, they claiming these statuses that are really your statuses. Okay, they mad. They 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 they, they locking you down on a system because it's your trust fund money. If you're American, if you're a citizen, it's your trust fund money. Even if you think you came from a slave, that's still 400 years ago. These people coming in 30 years, okay. governing you. They just got, got it. Let me let me ask a real question. Country 30 years ago, and they sit up on a throne and govern you. Even if you got it. A slave. Got it. You just uh, no disrespect. You may never get a reparation okay. unless you're just giving away all your gold. Okay, you you said a lot. Listen, you parroted all the the Don Calloway and Top Cats. You get the award for the parroting, and this isn't a, a diss. You are just repeating things, and I love you. You need to break free and be uh, the queen who you are. Stop repeating BS that they're banging into your head. Let me finish. I'm gonna ask you a question. You just said. Why do you want to claim to be a slave? Why, why do you want to claim to be a conquered group of people who owned, according to history, owned an entire continent and got and beat up, raped and, and killed? We we Wait, let me, I let we you finish, let me finish. Why do you want to claim to be natives who the, the colonizer gave smallpox to, raped your children, raped your wives, bashed your children's exactly. head against the, wait, 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 you don't want to, wait, 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 wait. Come on, sister, hold on, sister, you're going to speak. We're going to let you speak. I'm helping you. I'm trying, I want you to listen. I'm, I'm, this, isn't, this isn't for me to, listen, this isn't for me to be right because it's not about me being right. Everybody sees what we're doing right here right now is an intervention and I'm not being condescending because you're intelligent. Listen to me, just stop and listen, stop and listen. You, re you repeated what you've been taught to say. Why would you wanna be the slave? What? Look, why would we want to be a conquered group of people, Native Americans, who were raped and pillaged, children were bashed against the, the, the rocks, uh, all their gold was stolen. I mean, should I keep going? Should, no. Why would we want to be them? I they're no, they don't, they don't have this. Sis, sister, from. my sister, stop. I'm listen, I'm don't listen, sis. I'm don't listen, am, don't listen to just wait. I mean, don't just wait to, to respond. I'm asking, why do you want to trade off being an African with a Native American who's just as low down? They've got, they're not some valiant group of warriors. You've seen that in the movies. They're, they're not they're not some valued yes, group of warriors yes, sis yes, why don't you why do you listen why don't you listen you 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 know you know for a fact you know for a fact we are warriors, mama. native american damn native americans and black african americans listen natives and native africans african -American, are you black or you're african -American. which one are, are you, you gonna listen black, are you gonna african american you are what which one are you, are you finished are you, are you did you come from Okay, Negro? can I speak? Can I speak to you? Are you going to listen? Thank you. You we know this for a fact. Even if we claim to be Native American or Indian or if we claim to be African, we know for a fact that we've been colonized and raped. So we know for a fact that we have Caucasian DNA. So why would you choose to claim to be the Native American? Why don't you just say you're white? Wait a minute. Why don't you just say you're the the top dog? The one who who won in the fight. Why do you want to trade off being an African who's downtrodden to be an Indian who's downtrodden? That's the colonizer mindset. You're talking about us being brainwashed. You're brainwashed. Why do you want to be the rundown Native American? Have you seen the reservations? That you know the highest rate of suicide in teens is on the Native American reservations. You don't know that because you probably don't even go to the reservations. You want to be a low down, rundown group of people. 
Instead of being the African-American who's had a struggle and who's the only people who've been kidnapped from their land, the only people, they came, we, the, colonizer, the colonizer came to the Americas. We, they, should have, they should have been able to fight them off if they're so valiant and great. Stop talking about we want to be the massa, we want to be under massa, we want to be downtrodden, we want to be slaves. Native Americans were slaves to the colonizers just like we were, but actually not as bad. So stop trying to claim Native American, go ahead and claim white. Just call yourself white. Just be a white girl. You'd be better off. That's all I want to say. I'm sick of this thing about, oh, the African, you want to be a slave. You want to be a slave too. You want to be somebody who's been raped, given smallpox, uh, all your gold stolen, your children raped. Uh, come on, stop putting Africans down and trying to say that Native Americans are better. They're not. So why don't you be a white girl? I'll go ahead and mute. This ain't Tell us why. Claim the winner. Be the winner. Be the winner. Don't this be the loser. That are talking. This me, nigga. Speak your speech, nigga. Speak your speech, nigga. Speak your speech. You built like that? I got some shit for you. All right. All right, man. This shit is going in. We going down. Powerful information. Nepal bringing in. And um, sister, I'm going to let you get ahead. I'm going I'm to bring in Tori. And then we're going to close this thing out and we're going to see what uh, Tori got to say about this. Cause I know this young brother, he almost, y'all almost got this young brother. Y'all almost got him sister. Yeah. I think that, you know, a lot of us, we want to be everything, but what we are. And we, we try to, we try to, you know, cling on to these other doctrines and these things that aren't even proven to be true in reality. And we don't want to be who we are. And that's that's the problem. That's one of the biggest problems that we have. You see that, sister? These young men over here, 19 years old. I hope you um I hope you ain't teaching your babies this nonsense, sister. Please. Please what tell you, me you're what, not. Ask the brother a question. What do you mean by be who you who, who you are? What do you mean by that? You need somebody to define that for you, or you can't you don't know who you are, like. Your parents obviously probably taught you some traditions of some sort or whatever. Like, that's another thing. Like, everybody come over here, get their cultural centers and everything like that. But if we do the Black Americans, the Aboriginal cultural center, that's racist. Why you want to be something you're not? But when they come from Ukraine, they set up shop with a Ukrainian center. They got the um, Polish center over there. They got the whole Chinatown. They got everything. And then and then when when us Aboriginals, that's that's the original inhabitants, okay? And, and it don't even matter because the Europeans that's up in there, the kind of, they just came to the, most of them over there just came to the country about 30 40 years ago okay they went to the college they think they know the whole country and shit they only been in the motherfucker third one generation they don't know nothing about none of that history i'm telling you about that history is going to come from your family my family history books my grandmama her mama you're going to have a date if you tapped into that corporation the whole time then you're going to have a record within that corporation the whole time okay they have wars before they burn every all the evidence that's their main plot the first thing they do is say you can't prove it because they burn the fucking evidence and that's when you got break no profanity no profanity oh, i'm sorry they break they burn the evidence okay they burn the evidence they make sure you ain't gonna have no evidence then they're gonna give you the proof with their dna test to try to find an answer to yourself you got to know yourself, yo. If your mama told you, trust your parents. Why y'all trust these other people more than your parents? It's like you call your grandmother mo mother a liar. Did somebody come on the TV and tell you you've been raped and you're slave and you've been this and that? And you don't even question it. They, they indoctrinate you with that and then do it on a mass scale where the only history they, they don't... Now, if you start claiming to be a king or something or start claiming to be God or some, something positive or something, oh, my God, they're going, no way, no way, you're a slave. You know you're a slave. Everybody knows you're a slave. you got to be a slave. So Native they're Americans not, are gods? They're not going to let you... Listen, mama. I, they, no, I, you, I, said, I, you said, I, you I, said, you that, said that they're gods. I didn't even put that Why? in a specific So did Native I, Americans get raped? Did Native Americans get raped? I ain't come from rape. I got all the history on my The Native Americans rape. get raped. Everybody got raped. Everybody got raped. So they what are you raped. talking about? We want to be from rape. Do anything. So what is rape? What is what is that they get raped? But you see, just, hold up, hold up. Like, Good point, started. Nepal. Good point, Nepal. This is what I was. This is what I said from the beginning. Um, so much bad things been taught about black people, and now she's bringing it all out. You see, she don't want to be a part of a people. She um she feel very bad uh about her ancestors about what her ancestors been through and she have been hurt. 
went through more than the sister been hurt and she feel like I want to disassociate myself with my ancestors. And let me tell you this too, sister, just because grandma said it don't make it true. A lot of people always try to use grandma as though her mouth is the prayer book. I got to keep it a buck. When I was younger and I used to go over my friend's house and I had my little young girlfriends as well. I've heard not one, not two, not three, but many grandmamas today that would be grandmothers today or grandmothers in past and say to their daughter, baby, I hope you go out there and get one of them good men with good hair and good skin. And so, so that baby can come out looking good with good skin and good hair. So just for the fact of them saying that, they will lie and say, my baby is, uh, is, is not black. So they grandma, the grandmothers hated being black themselves. Now, of course, I'm not saying all grandmothers, y'all. So don't say Sarnetta said our grandma. No, not all. I'm not saying all, but a lot of grandmothers hated themselves and they taught that to their children. God damn it. That's the yeah. truth. Break that glass. Tell you. Truth. Truth. And you know, I just want to say, if you notice, sis, you keep on talking about, this is what I hear from a lot of people. A lot of people like the brother Top Cat and this sister, they always talk about, why do you want to be a slave? Why do you want to be raped? Why do you want to, but then, but then you claim a group of people who were actually sent over to many different uh, countries to be slaves by the colonizer, raped by the colonizer. So I'm still trying to understand why you don't see it. You're claiming a group. I'm going to say it again, my love. You're claiming a group. Is it jealousy? You say, y'all will say, sister, 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 you keep on claiming a group. First you say, why do you want to be a slave? Why do you want to be from a, a group of people who are downtrodden? Then you claim a group of people who were slaves, downtrodden, murdered, raped. I'm trying to let you see the connection. She's Answer. trying to help you, sister. That's all. Yes. You don't want to listen. Do you do you agree? Let me ask you. Do you agree that Native Americans have been raped and pillaged and downtrodden by the colonizer? That's a simple question, sis. Do you? I'll give you the floor. I don't know. Show me the proof. Listen, I'm what? not a Native American. I'm a Native of America. My family, I didn't come from rape. Maybe there are people that come from rape. Only, not only the Native Americans would have been raped, everybody would have been damn raped because old raggedy men is, was running around like cavemen dragging women through dag on trees anyway. Okay? So you going, you you stuck on the wrong thing again. Like, what are you still stuck? Were you raped? Were you raped? Y'all love putting that negativity into the black people. Black people. <laughs> You're the one who I'm keeps not... saying rape. You keep saying that <laughs> word and we need to stop saying it. Wait a minute. Please, please mute it for one second. Just three seconds. Mute it for three seconds. Three seconds, three seconds King. You said grape. And we need to start saying no, that. Stop saying it. So that's my fault. You didn't. She said, why do you want to be great? Why do yes. you want to be from a people who are great? Now she's switching it, y'all, because the cognitive dissonance won't allow her to say, oh, shit, you're right. They they are up. They are a downtrodden great group of, of pillaged and, and exploited and decimated people, the Native Americans. Why the hell? I might as well just claim being white. I swear to God, I'm saying it. You might as well say you're a white woman and then you would be better off because you could find it in your DNA. First off, I swear you could. Family, let's talk real. We can go to our DNA and I bet you she'll find some European blood, but she won't find any native blood. So why don't you just claim white, sis? Claim the winners. That's a fact, because check this out, Nepal. If you listen to Sanjor and Brother Jabari's um, discussion earlier, and when y'all go back and replay this video, see if I'm wrong. And I asked her, it seems like you are so proud to have white people in your culture, in your DNA, in your bloodline. But when we mention one part of Africa, you fighting it tooth and nail. No, I ain't got this and I ain't got no black. I ain't got no African. But you would say the Dutch? You would say that Europeans is in your family? You are was, you was so proud to say, my family married Europeans and we got this in there and we got that. So I don't know if y'all heard that, but I guarantee you, when you replay it and you hear it again, you're going to hear it. So anyway, family, I got to get out of here, man. 
I gotta get out of here. Love this, sister. We gotta we gotta really love these people because it is PTSS. We we all have been affected. But um, we love the sister. <laughs> Can I just say Go ahead, sis. Go ahead, okay, sis. This I want to see. I want. I want to just show y'all how bad y'all up under the spell and the Jedi mind trick and how y'all so enslaved. And I feel so sorry for y'all. Now, the same African that you want me to claim to be, when you find a person with my skin tone that comes from that north of Africa, when they come to America because of those corporate terms, they gonna check off white, okay? And they gonna be blacker than me, but they gonna check off white just because they're from that top land mass, okay? But you so stuck on corporate terms trying to force me to be enslaved with you. And I'm not gonna be enslaved with you, sister. I love you, though. And that's why Harriet told me, you know what she had to do to a few them on the way to the road to freedom, okay? So I'm not even gonna argue no more about it. You choose what you, what you feel, you feeling your heart that you from a rape or whatever you want to hold on to that instead of hold on to the greatness when they use that word slave anyway it's just cold words for some brilliant people that built a whole bunch of stuff and never got paid so instead of calling them slaves like just call them like hard-working genius people brilliant people mm -hmm. that built a whole bunch of stuff and a, a bunch of raggedy people cheated them out of their money and they still right them you should get her information son that are, i like her energy and um, she seems like a really uh, good sister. Love is love, sister. I mean, if you, sis, you, Sonetta, you should bring her back on. Yeah, take my um email. You know my email, sis? I can get it from Morpheus. Oh, there you go. You got it. You good then. We're gonna, I know, we're gonna I know if you're in contact with Morpheus, I know he's been spanking you. Trying to wake he you up. Me, he sent me the link, but I'll be trying to wake him up because he indigenous too. He you like trying him. to wake Morpheus up? <laughs> yeah. Morpheus from a native. He got some of his people that's free and his family that's on the tribe already got back to them, but he's still stuck trying to be black too. But guess what, sis? Guess what? Here go my um my um is right in the chat. Look at it. That's my email. Hit me up. Okay. Now check this out, sister. I know that I got I know that I got Native American in my blood. I do. Right. I have Native American in oh, my DNA. You let them steal your gold because you don't want to. No, 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 no. You don't, no, no. don't want to go claim what your grandmama told you was yours. So what's happening is the white people coming to claim it. So now you got a whole bunch of white people on the tribe. I'm the Indian. They over there trying to do power out there. You can see the rhythm leaving the tribe every day. Like they don't. They just say, "Well, I'll sign up" because they it really is only based off the 17, 9, 80, whatever that date is. Because that's I have. Hold people. up, sister. I have DNA of American. Uh, of a Native American in my blood. That don't mean that I'm a Native American because I also have African in my blood. I have way more African DNA than the American. The percentage wise, yeah. this is what I'm trying to tell you. But I'm on, on the fine print at the yes. DNA test, right? The fine print at the bottom of the DNA test, they let you know it's for entertainment purposes only. So it's really now, it's, now, see, sister, I challenge you. So really I challenge you. Hold on, hold on. I challenge you to take a DNA test. And if you're going to try to tell me. No, because they're trying to study us. They can't hold on, hold on. on. If you're going to try to tell me that DNA is not real and is, is not, it don't work, uh, well, I'll ask you this question. How did they know who my father was? How did they know who my cousins was? Facts. You can see them right on my, they said, oh, this is your first cousin. And they got it right. They got the joint right when they did it. So how did they know all of this if DNA was not real? And if it don't work, how did they know it? Soon as I seen him, I, and I called him. I was like, yo, yo, you, you know, they got us right here. And he seen me on his. How did they know that I that I had, you know, Native American in my blood from my father's side? But a very small amount, though. That don't mean I'm a Native American Indian. See? She, she's muted. I know, I know. You talking about bloodline DNA versus I got DNA to show you which dirt or soil you from. That's a whole different thing. Like. Sister, you can't show me that without you, the DNA. Yeah, give, give me the blood test. I can tell you exactly what dirt your people was from. Come on now, give me a break. Y'all really let them loop y'all up like that? Oh, no. Yeah. Are, are you in New York? Are you in New York? Oh, boy, this struggle is over, y'all. It's a long fight to get these what is her? What's your name again? I'm sorry. Jetta, I know you Jetta, said Jetta, it. Jetta B. How do you say your name? Jetta, like the Volkswagen. Jetta, J-E-T-T-A. Jetta B. Jell? Jetta, Jetta. Jetta. Oh, Jetta, Jetta, Jetta. Are you in New York? Yeah, I'm in Yonkers. You're in Yonkers? You should go to the debate on the 9th. In Brooklyn. Oh, where is it at? Brooklyn. It's a big is, is Jabari against a, a a brother who's a Hebrew Israelite, Sakari? Uh, Everybody okay. should go. Right, Sonetter? 
Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Well, I forgot they, about that. Are they debating DNA tests and all of that? What are they debating? Oh, uh -oh. oh, okay. The House of Consciousness is the 12 tribe chart, real estate. Oh, you're talking about the 12 civilized tribes? Yeah, the well, 12 well, tribes. Well, you would be considered from the Gad people, I think, right? Right, Nepal? Yeah, the tribe of Gad. You would be from the tribe of Gad. Are you, a, are you from the tribe of Gad? Who are you talking to? You, I'm talking to you, Jetta. What is your tribe? What is what is your tribe? That's what I noticed. A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't really. They don't really say what tribe they're from, right, Sonetta? I'm from the Cherokee tribe. I'm from the Cherokee tribe. They always say Cherokee. You know, Cherokee is the one tribe where everybody. A lot of people paid. Sis, sis. I notice a lot of people, white and black, who try to claim. I notice a lot of five dollar Indians try to claim Cherokee. And when I say five dollar Indians, they actually paid to be uh, listed in the in the um, heritage, the tribal genealogy. They people were paying to be a part of the Cherokee um, uh, genealogy listing of the genealogy for the tribes. That is predominantly white people. Oh, Napa, Napa Shada. Okay. Okay, so yeah, y'all. Um, I gotta close but, out. Thank y'all. I know a lot of people say Cherokee, but that doesn't mean you're not Cherokee. That doesn't mean you're not Cherokee. Now I gotta, I gotta yeah, just peace. say the last thing. If you say Cherokee, me. right? Let me just say the last thing, right? That tribe you're talking about, that was 1890s yeah. and stuff like that, sister. My family was already living in that part, of that region in Alabama and Bullock County, the site of the Indian Wars. And when all the right. smoke cleared and they had all of the arms. Um, to sign up to be Indian. They ain't want no parts of all that. That's the government corporate stuff I'm telling you that they're trying to get you to tap into, okay? They really didn't want no parts of all that. And when they started making up the Indians, that's when we became colored people, okay? They didn't, they right. Didn't know, so that's why I'm a full-blooded color. But I, they didn't want to give me a race. On my father's birth certificate, though, he come from a colored, and his mother's a colored, and the father's a colored. Because that's corporate terms, see? You get all stuck on talking about, you better like who you are. You better say you black. That's just another corporate term, okay? Then, mm -hmm. then, then why, why you claiming to be black now, all the stuff the NAACP for, for the rights of the color people, you're not even going to get none of that because you don't even identify as colored no more, okay? Then when oh, they get yeah, home, so what about, they home, what about the reservation? The Negro, they did a whole bunch of stuff for the Negro League, all right? Now, this generation right. of black people, they're not even going to get nothing from the Negro fight because they don't identify as the Negro no more. All right, what about the general? You keep saying we're corporate this and corporate that. Do you know any African American slave progeny living on a reservation? I don't. So we don't I, live on I reservation. So stop talking about Hey, it. listen, since you talked, I want to close I'm out with sorry, this. Sorry, you I'm keep sorry. on, it's okay, but you keep on saying you want to be a part of the corporate and you want the white man to control you. Black, what, Native Americans are all pulled into reservations. They're like, put on reservations and they have to, you know, that's where their sovereignty is. So it, it's a, it's a wash, but I want to say this. Thank you for, thank you for coming on though, because um, you have a lot of, uh, you have a great spirit, but um, you know, you're a good sister. It's just that you, you need to really do your DNA test. Just do your DNA test and then we could go from there. Peace right, to everybody. Well that, and peace to the darkest here, minds. Right, the family. darkest, the darkest minds of the light. Darkness is good. Blackness is good. <laughs> it seemed like everybody watched the house of consciousness. God, I'm tuning in here in the States to every content. Oh, wow. You got your holy book, your references and documents. Then hit your brother sign, get it cracking if you're confident. Sign at the TV, it don't get no more reality. Nah. You're helping to stay mindful of the struggle in totality. Humble yourself and let the commentary resonate. Living in these times is here, but sure to help you yeah, relevant. Hope the dialogue ain't too strong. Y'all know that we've been waiting too long. And ever since I stepped into this paradigm, it's the time all I got is building Sign on the TV mind. is a black throne. Where kings and queens come get their facts on. Just be prepared to have your mind blown. And ever since I stepped into this paradigm, most of the time, all I got is freedom on my mind. For real, for real.